Hey. Let's go. This show fucking stinks. And the fact that you listen, we are very, very thankful for it. AJ, you never cease to amaze me with your toxicity, pal. You got a couple of these? God <laughs> damn it! <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? Fuck, fucking oh! cop. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Pat McAfee Show. Come on into the Thunderdome. I am, um, the Insider! Why didn't you guys tell me you were going to do that? Well, it worked out fucking Yeah, perfectly. it worked out. Yeah. That's why we didn't tell you. Because God. It always works out. I'm Ian Rappaport. Hell yeah. What's up? Atta What's up, Ian? We're doing this again, somehow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Appreciate you guys having me back. Um... I'm appreciative more of all the other guys that canceled. I thought that was pretty cool. Sure, yeah, you were eight or nine on the list, but yeah. no, which is fine. Mm -hmm. it's, yeah, sure. But on the list is it's like it's like my horse at the Derby did not win, but happy to be in you the. You're in the Derby. Yeah. Jace's charge. Jace's road. Jace's yeah. road. We are not alone here. Besides me, mm -hmm. you, you, you. We also have Doesn't know you. Our names. No. No, yeah. I know your names. No, you don't. It's okay. <laughs> it's all right. On the left over here, the illustrious. Boston Con. Oh, Let's go. Yeah. I got one more. Ty Schmidt in the middle. There you go. Wow. Oh, two for two. And on the right, I don't see a name. <laughs> Tone Diggs. Let's oh, go. AJ Hawk Tony. over there is also joining us. AJ, what's going on? <laughs> what's up, Ian? What what uh where did your horse finish? I didn't uh, I didn't exactly well, see. Not eighth or ninth. Uh no. I would say um you know what happens is when a, he came out real strong, yeah, okay. real set fast. The pace, set the pace. None of good. us had a horse. None of us had a horse run the race. So hey, you already won this. Thing. True. That good point. And that is what everyone tells me, right? It's like, well, you know, it's it's just great to have a horse, and and that is true. And the whole experience was amazing, and I'll get into it. But like, you know, and and we sort of psyched ourselves up. We're like, all right, it's fine. Like he's not going to win. Just run a good race. Like it's great to be here. We're on the rail. But he could win. But he could yep. win. You had that in the back of your brain, yes. right? Yes. Like, and then maybe. you see him get out to a strong yeah, start. And then I'm like, oh my God, like maybe this will be a thing. And then by the end, he was not going to win. And the jockey kind of pulled up a little bit to make sure what? that he was in a good. No, no, make sure he's the, healthy. The make sure jockey? he's healthy. <clears throat> Come on. You got to yeah. lay it all on the line. For Ranchero. Our well, he, lived to run, he went to run another Wait, day. You, you, chose a, a you chose a French jockey? I didn't choose him. Brad Cox, <laughs> the trainer, chose him. And he actually won a bunch of races that day, just not not the big the one. The jockey. Not the one that only matters. Brad Cox is cool. Wants. He wears a hat. Right. He does wear a hat. He looks yeah. sweet. AJ, how come you didn't see uh, – you were at the Derby. How come you didn't see Ian's horse in the race? Hmm. I wasn't sure exactly at the moment – what Ian's horse, the name was, and I don't know if you know this. I don't know. Ian probably had different seats. Where, well, yeah, you had owner seats. You're probably in some weird club that I don't even know about. Everyone was standing up, and you I'm trying to stand it. on top of tables. There's people in front of me. I mean, <laughs> Jimmy Graham was in the group, group I'm with. Jimmy's nine feet tall. So like, I bad. That was nice of him to fly you guys to the yeah. derby. Yeah. That would have been sweet, wouldn't it? Jimmy flew himself. <laughs> he's yeah. a commercial did he, pilot Did he actually? Now. Wait, no, he's Yeah, not. he flew himself yes, in one of his is. planes, yeah. So he AJ, flies helicopters, aerobatics, uh, float plane. He flies everything. So AJ, I'm looking at that. I mean, that's a nice picture. That's the wow. pink, that's the pink carpet. That's for Oaks Day, by the yeah. way. Um, you could see everyone. Who's who's in the sweet pink jacket? That's Devontae. Adams. Devontae. Adams. Devontae. Adams. What about who's yeah. taking a knee? Not Bakhtiari, but which I, his knees look good. By yeah, the way. that's who's the, the other, other Bakhtiari. That's Andrew, younger brother. Oh, uh, uh, the Bakhtiari <laughs> bow. Is that what they call that? Well, the third one's right below, right up top, the oldest brother, Eric. Between you far and right. Jimmy? No, far right. Between oh, okay. me and Jimmy's Matt Flynn, famous LSU oh, oh, hell yeah. Packer. yeah. Packer and superstar. Seattle. AJ, did you bring your uh, cool new lighter that you debuted this weekend or no? That thing was awesome. Did I bring it? My watch lighter? Yeah, it was on in that pick. Yeah, at some point. I used it I used it multiple times, man. That thing was, a, that thing was, that came in pretty handy at times. No, I mean, Wait. did you bring it to you? Like, is it in the attic so you can show us or no? Oh, it is not in the attic, actually. Wait, I, I understand I what's happening, one. happening there. His watch is a lighter. His watch yes. is a lighter. Who got you that? Amazon? What do you mean? It, it pops up on my algorithm. They know exactly what they're doing. The thing was like <laughs> 20 bucks, too. That's what's amazing. I have two of them. Now. Really? Jeez. Yeah, it's sweet. How many cigars yeah. did you smoke? Like over under 55 or? No. I mean, I don't think I, I, don't think I had an, an abnormal amount. It was normal, kind of normal derby. Maybe a little less than I normally have at the derby. A couple long days there. Ian, did you go both days, Friday, Saturday? Yeah. I mean, we, sh we showed up Thursday, met, met the horse, met Jace's Road, which was 
actually like the such a cool experience. Brad Cox came and chatted with us, like told us all about the training and uh, Jace tried to eat Leah, my wife's shirt, oh. successfully ate her shirt. Jace. Well, had to like, had like literally had to like Pull so her Jay, shirt away. Jay's That's good. Dog. He's Jay's, hungry. Uh, Jay's oh, a dog, oh. huh? Hungry horse. Look at this, Ian. Did I you mean, put that together, Ian, or someone put that together for you? That was good. So the way it happened, th I appreciate that. The way it happens is Rick Soto, my suit guy, and my wife are on a group text with me. We, They're like, hey, she'll, she'll say, like, here's my outfit. And he'll be like, all right, cool. I can work with that. And Smart. then they'll come up with a suit. Yeah. And I'm literally just like a bystander. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So at some point, they'll be like, Ian, like, what do you think? I'll be like, oh, yeah, no, that that's good. Right. Sure. Um, so that's what we came up with this year. I had very little to do with it. The shoes were an amazing find by my wife. Um, they are not um, Jays, though, as they say. Huh. So the internet was not that happy with the particular brand of shoes. Uh, or particular wow. style of shoes. Wow, so get, they're Nike, so. They're Nike. Yeah, what but, happened? But I did get dragged in the comments section a little bit because uh, they are... Cares? A different type of shoe that I guess is not that cool, but I was looking for more of the match than anything. They look cool to me. Yeah, they look cool to yeah, me too. Yeah, and that suit's unbelievable. Your suit guy's a weapon. AJ had That's sweet shoes on the one day too. I saw. I don't know if it was Derby Day or Oaks Day. You had sweet shoes on, AJ. Those were sick. Those boots. Oh yeah, grab some brown and gray boots. Yeah, I like them. I those and some black ones for the Derby Day. I'm. That's the thing, Ian. You can wear whatever you want in the Derby, right? It's supposed to be the this super formal thing. You could you could legit, I think, get away with anything and call it fashion, pretty much. I, I like so. I mean, obviously, I get dressed up on on TV, but in real life, this is basically what I wear most of the time. But to get dressed up in literally whatever and the craziest stuff, people will randomly stop you, be like, "Hey, it's great shoes. Like, really like your pattern. Hell like, yeah. great tie. Like, there's a lot of fashion talk. Of course, of, like just dudes sure. being like, and then like my wife had a cool hat on, mm -hmm. and right. uh, she got a lot of love for the hat. You know, I mean, um, the entire fit for both of you guys was fantastic. Especially when AJ said he's like, "I'm gonna wear a white tee and jeans, pretty yeah. much." And you didn't. You look great, <laughs> AJ. I? So I never said that. No, I said I, yeah, you did. I had to scramble to get everything together. Yeah, I, you don't have to wear a tie if you don't have to. Like I, I used to. I've gone through the ringer where, I, where I'm like, "Okay, I got to wear a tie and do all this." No, nah, do whatever yeah. you want. AJ, Ian, did you notice? Like what Ian said, Ian was sweet. AJ, did you notice? Uh, I think this was an off-air conversation, but here we are on air. Uh, Ian said he was hiding in the garbage can near where you guys were to see if he could get some scoops from Aaron <laughs> and you guys and Devonte and stuff. Did you notice Ian in the garbage can? If Ian was in the garbage can, Ian, he did a great job. I did not see. Uh, I did not see what happened. Or I did not see you, but you might have got some good info. I don't know. I, I was actually thinking about. So you know, everyone sort of asked the same thing. Oh, go. You know, it's. I mean, I don't think Brady was there this year, but he. I, did he go to F one? Probably F one. Yeah, probably, probably F one. Yeah, right? um, but like, oh, Rogers will be there and that whole crew, and like, you're gonna run into them, and like, AJ, you, I would have been thrilled to run into. That we would have shared a cigar, not shared. You should have came up. You should have came up where I was. You are. That's the one thing about Derby. You can't. Yeah. Like we were in, we were at the Jockey Club. We were in a cool spot, but like someone else wanted to meet us. Like, you got to have like the like they are vigilant. Yeah. If you are not where you're supposed to be, you cannot visit. Yeah, I don't need some oh, yeah. drunk college assholes stumbling into, <laughs> mm -hmm. you know, where all the, the owners of the horses are, are sitting. I mean, I don't, right. And then, like, yeah, me, I shouldn't be talking about me. No, like, I'm saying, like, I mean, when they, like, you know, obviously, but when they, like, pan around Churchill Downs and you see how many people are actually there, like, it is insane. Spectacle. I, I, I was like, this is our third time. AJ, how many times you been? Man, I, I probably seven, eight times now, maybe. Okay, yeah, so you're, you're a veteran, even more than me. I've been three, and there was a lot of people there, and I was ready for it. And, you know, as part of the, the group that owned, again, very small part of Jace's Road, we got to participate in the walkover, which is something that basically, like, before the race, like 5 o'clock, you go meet down by the stables, and as the horses walk over, you walk with them. Hell yeah. And... I was kind of ready for it, and they're like, you have no idea. And I'm like, look, like, I've been to Super Bowls. Like, I've been to big things. Yeah. <clears throat> you know, like the – even like I was talking about the 10 minutes before the draft is wild. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's tense. It's awesome. There's so many people. Like, I love the atmosphere. I was not ready for this. And, you know, it's funny because they were like – you know, they were my wife and our uh, couple we're friends with in yeah. where we live. And – they're like, all right, so I think it's just you. Like, we're not going to have room for your wife, probably, and your friends, probably not. And I'm like, we're just all – oh, there you go. We're, we're just all going to come. So they all went with us, and they were like, if security tries to stop you, you are allowed to be here. So just keep walking. Cool. So we get into the track, 
and it is mud, by the way. It's yeah. literally mud. Mm-hmm. So my shoes, all dirty, which was great. Oh, no. I know. I was a little annoyed about that. Um, <laughs> and then, like, you keep walking, and then you see a wall <laughs> of people. And, oh, my God, it is so many people. Yeah. Like, almost overwhelming. And, like, you look out, and there's just, like, it's, it was, like, I don't get shook by anything. And I was shook by the atmosphere. It was crazy. If you are an owner next year, are you going to wear, are you going to bring track shoes so you can train, change back into your dress shoes <laughs> yeah, later? Yeah, that's or? the move. Maybe some shit kickers. Ooh. Well, that actually is yeah. the move. Mm-hmm. Is We're with uh, Lindsay Zarniak, yep. um, who is also, and Sue, she brought cowboy boots. Smart. Smart move. That is the, that's the move. Is the walking that big of a pain in the ass? Not what you just showed, but actually getting to the track from where you're supposed to, like, I don't know, <clears throat> give your tickets or whatever the hell it's called? It's all, there's so much walking. So, like, for the... One of the greatest things of the Derby is uh, Vineyard Vines has a bunch of shops, and mm-hmm. what they sell is, you know, other, like, ties. Who's gonna, who did, didn't bring a tie? Yeah, of course they're there. Yep. They sell flip-flops. Oh. And so mm. there was a long line of women buying flip-flops. Because, like, for us, deal. like, AJ, I'm sure you're, I mean, I was in sneakers both days. Yeah, who cares? You're fine. I'm fine. Yeah. You can walk. Yeah, the course, women yeah. were all flip-flops. Well, and heels, too, so they couldn't. Right, I assume it's just a big yeah, heels event. Ditch the oh yeah, but ditch the heels, wear the flip flops, and then if you need a picture, put the heels back on. But like all flip flops. So in terms, I mean, you've only been three times, but was the experience any different being an owner than like when you went last year, or not really? Um, I was a lot more nervous. Um, okay, I did a lot of media. Okay, um, which I was sort of not prepared for and did you get enough access that you thought like i feel an owner you should get a ton of access did you get that yeah i mean seeing the horse beforehand on thursday was awesome um right before the race terry finley who is the kind of main owner not like the fake owner like me um he uh he goes to the the paddock and he's like come on come on and the security was like oh let me see your credential and i'm just like you know what i'm fine like i'm i sat by the rail i'm not doing this yeah i'm good so I would have got to the paddock had I kind of like elbowed in, but I didn't. You didn't might have already said this, and I just completely missed it. How did you get in with this guy to start to own the horse? Like, did you – was he a huge fan of, like, a team, and you gave him some inside info before, and then that's he was like, like you know illegal. what, Rap, I got a horse, and I want you to be in on this with me. Uh, there's no inside info. Okay, fair. If I was going to give anyone inside info, which I will never do, it would be you guys. Oh, hey, but I won't do but it. But you'll never okay. do that. Right. So I'll never do that. Like the garbage can. Nice. Yes. Like the garbage can would never do that. <laughs> um, but no, so we did we did Derby for our 10th anniversary, and it was amazing. And then we were like, all right, we're going to go every year. Horse racing's fun. We get all dressed up. And then America's Best Racing, which is kind of like the outfit behind the stake and stardom thing, invited us to Belmont. Oh, okay. Um, and we were like, oh, <clears throat> well, this is fun. And the next year invited us to Preakness. We brought our sons. Preak okay. nasty. Mm-hmm. It was amazing. Mm-hmm. You ride on the uh, Porta Johns? Uh, we did not ride okay. the Porta Johns. Although my, it was so hot. My children, like, 20 minutes in, were like, can we go back to the hotel room? I'm like, cool, we're here for another <laughs> seven <hours."> yeah. <laughs> it was, Ian, anyway. this, is, this may be a dumb question, but your horse that uh, obviously got to run the Derby, that's a yeah. big deal. Now, where do you go from here? Can you still can dump some lo- no. can dump loads and you sell those loads around to people for a lot of money? How's it work? No, no, no. First of all, I, I learned all about this. Um, okay. The <laughs> one in 10,000 horses goes to stud. Really? 10,000. So you so have to win the derby, basically, or you, what? Or, like, not even guaranteed. Like, you have to win one or multiple big races and have, like, a lineage. Have the pedigree. Oh. Yeah, the pedigree is, like, all of it. It's crazy. So, like, the so horse like, that won this year, Mage, like, that isn't... If his, I fa- if his father's was, father was a good horse, too, then... Then? But if not... Because I assume right away, Mage, okay, Mage is going to be fucking for the next 10 years. And I he could try to win the Triple Crown first, though, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah definitely. He's got, I'm sure he's going to do Preakness. I don't think Jace's Road is going to do Preakness. Oh, no. Oh, no. We'll no. see. I don't know this. We'll see. Don't yeah. they also, like, they take the tape measure out right away. It's like, okay, if this horse's penis is over 18 inches, <laughs> then this thing clearly has the pedigree. You know, we'll kind of we'll get it ready to go. Is that what we're talking about? <laughs> I think so. Um, All right. There was a lot of discussion about how the actual... Yeah, you should see the fucking piece on this thing. Wait, just you wait. This, 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 this is the best part. This is the best part. A lot of future horses may surprise you. Wait, we've all seen it. They use a fake Lengthen horse. and girth. <laughs> yep. it's, it's like a... You've seen it? Yeah, it's a fake horse and they use a feed bag. Yeah, they did it. It's, it's jackass. Uh-huh. Some, yeah, some guy's job to grab the penis and put it in the fake 
Yeah. In the sheath. It was in yeah. <laughs> really. Yeah, it was yeah. in Yellowstone as well. That's where I saw it. Yeah. Yep. And then once and on the ranch where I work sometimes. What course? <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. They uh, once a year or twice a year they let the horse like do it for real, mm-hmm. yeah. just to make sure he knows like all right, this is still got it. Yeah. Still got it. Yeah. 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 Which I assume that time is a great time. So now Mage still has to obviously it's running the next two trying to win the triple crown, but like you're telling me previous winners who only win once like the guy last year who was 80 to one strike he, came in, right, he actually yeah. came in last this year in his, his he hasn't over. won anything since okay so that so that derby obviously amazing he won the derby but or she won the derby yeah. but that doesn't mean anything it's not as if the people who own that horse are making a ton of money off not, of it now. not necessarily okay and like for me the deal that i have like my rights or whatever cut off at possible stud because that's that's, that's where all yeah. the money comes in. That's the like point. American Pharaoh. That right. horse is dotted up. Yeah, breeding for the rest of his life, it, making hundreds of millions of dollars. It, it also matters a ton how the yearlings run. So American Pharaoh, its stud fee was crazy high, and then the one-year-olds, um, you know, kind of come out of the gate and they're not that fast. That price drops pretty much right then and there. Oh, so he's got a weak seed. His one-year-olds stink. Quit, quit stunning them up. Mm-hmm. Well, and the Derby isn't even the best horses in the world, too, right? That's the Breeders' Cup, mm-hmm. and the Breeders' Cup are also the ones that will seed and make a bunch of money for people. Yeah, the last year, Flightline won, which was the si- yes. also West Point, and was immediately retired and went to stud for, like, an astronomical fee and that's the goal right oh yeah yeah, yeah. that's the good stuff yeah, cause, of course yeah but that, i that, mean that, golden yeah yeah in life for all of us right sure so. yeah <laughs> fucking is sweet but what, what i'm asking <laughs> specifically about is like the breeders cup horses you just mentioned it if you win the derby like you still have to do a couple more things but if you win the breeders cup immediately hey this is the best horse breeders in the world. they're older yeah. yeah yeah so they have to go right yeah. away yeah and i didn't kind of realize this and like aj i don't know how much you've gotten into like the <laughs> horse racing kind of world but like basically like three-year-olds they're not even they're like teenagers mm-hmm. so sometimes they will grow like get a lot bigger and then race as faster as four-year-olds or five-year-olds or whatever but then they have to be wait, they can only be two years old to run the derby. Like I didn't know all three. those rules before I ever went three. And then there so it's one and done. I don't know. Like the whole all the rules, all well, there's a bunch of stuff going on, right? That I didn't hear like on TV. People were talking about there's all this stuff with the track and horses yeah. dying that yeah. there's all kind of drama surrounding this whole world I didn't know about. Yeah, and I've like I've sort of learned about it and that's all like tragic and horrible, and I mm-hmm. hope that it's an aberration, you know, and like it's the the sport has gone through this in the past that Santa Anita, I think yeah, it was, last year. Um, which is all like tragic and terrible. And I mean, I don't, I don't know enough about it. Ugh. I just know the horses that I saw got treated amazing. Right. Um, and mm-hmm. the, it did seem like the sort of vets of the track were way more vigilant and like conservative than the other. Like a horse was scratched for having a temperature. Yeah, yeah. And didn't you say it was kind of crazy though? Because you actually heard one of the horses get shot in the head with a shotgun <laughs> right, after, right after one of the I races. I did not. I did oh, not hear okay. that. Hey, Jay, what did you, you learn this weekend yeah. with your pals, huh? Yeah, how'd that go? What did I learn? Besides, what do you, mean? besides no, you not texting me and being like, hey, bro, we're here. Try to sneak in. But that's cool. Oh, hey. ooh, ooh, I tell you what, Ian, you know from being there. So, like, the, the wristband I have to get into my area, I went and tried to meet some of my friends all day. Like, Friday, I tried to meet them. Couldn't figure it out. We couldn't connect. And then I, I'm, I connected with them Saturday. But then... Uh, Herbie was there with his with uh, with his crew and Ryan Day and everything. I got to walk, I got to get about ten feet away from them. They wouldn't let me walk over this little bridge, this little walkway to mm-hmm. like shake their hand. So I stood there and waved at them. Like, hey, sorry, bud, they won't can't really get to our your area. So that's kind of how it is trying to to get together and meet people that are not in the same area as you. But for me, it was great, man. I got to see a bunch of my buds, a lot of them I played with, I haven't seen in a while. It was it was awesome. It was a fun couple of days. Did the uh, did the Bakhtiaris uh, kind of bring up the fact like, hey, Aaron, basically everyone here is on the Jets now. Like, what about me? Am I am I going to get traded or what? Is that I okay? don't know what's going on with him. Yeah, no, he seemed like he people came by all the time, say, oh, go pack, go or whatever, and he's like, well, I'm the lone soldier here left in this crew that's still on that oh, team no, anyway. Oh, what about Devonte? Is he going to the Jets? <laughs> That's a good question. It doesn't. It doesn't seem that way, but you know Come what? On. You never know, really, right? We don't. We never truly know. So you guys talk like zero football when you when you go to this thing, correct? Oh yeah. I mean, well, so Peyton was sitting at the table right next to us with his son and, and his wife, and I believe his daughter maybe too. And Stokely, 
he Peyton and Aaron talked some good football. I saw them when they first connected. I was like, oh, this is going to be like one of those those conversations uh-huh. people talk about. Oh, they oh, Peyton gave so him all cool. this advice on what it's like to go to a new team and all Aaron, this. Peyton. So I, I got overheard that whole conversation. But uh, that's yeah, breaking got to news. Talk, got AJ, to see Marcus Freeman too as well. Got to talk to him for a little bit. Nice, AJ. That's breaking news. What you just said. That is. That, I can't believe you just shared I think that. They with had a film Thank crew. You. I think they had a film crew come probably film them too. Shocking. <laughs> is that right? I'm sure we'll see it on you know Peyton's place Maybe somewhere. <laughs> Omaha Productions. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Did you go to Guy Fieri's party, either one yes. of you guys? I know that's kind of like the staple of, of race weekend down Donkey there. Did, I mean, gangster. Um, Ian, I, I was not invited, so I don't know. What? Bullshit. I was not invited. We were. I was invited to the Phillies and Stallions party yeah. Friday, which we did not go to. It, these are such a long oh, day. God, like, I know, I know. Did you, AJ? No, you should. Yeah, I I, uh, I usually bow out of that one after the one that we go to this barn stable party Friday, and then there's that party at this warehouse thing. It's cool. I... Yeah, usually I get a ride back, but I, I went for about an hour or so and hung out. It was cool. Look at you. It's just like, oh, I mean, I'm bizarre. Old. The whole thing's bizarre. It is it is weird. And, like, it's fun. If, if you're into seeing random celebrities, like, we ran into Bobby Flay, my good friend. Holy, Holy Super shit. Chef? Um, yep. Well, he's kind of a piece of shit because he tried to have sex with Ari's wife. But yeah, that's right. No, man. Yeah. Cook it in his house, too. Yeah. In his, cooking bacon. In his underwear. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure if this is real life or not. No, it's entourage. 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 Yeah. Which Come on. Documentary. Yeah. Documentary yeah. about documentary yep. about Mark Wahlberg's about, life. Yeah. Yes. Bingo and done. All right, of course. AJ, did you do any plant drugs with everyone? Good question. I did not do any plant drugs, but I tell you what, that's not a that's a topic of conversation for sure, where people like to yell out things maybe about different plant drugs or that maybe talk about they've had plant medicine like random plant medicine. Yeah. Plant medicine. You're right. My bad. It's a plant and. I don't want to disrespect it. You're right. But you yeah, micro? That's, I, I was not, but that's a topic that people talk about a lot in that crew and people outside that come up and want to talk to Aaron, especially. Yeah, they mention that a lot. Oh, yeah. so in the crew they're talking about, oh. and then when Aaron's walking around, it's like, oh, it was good. It was good. Is that what, that's exactly yeah. what happens. Exactly right. You're, you Were you there, con man? Were you in the trash can with Ian? <laughs> no, unfortunately, I also <laughs> did not get invited, but may, maybe next year. Was I don't know. From what you guys talk about, it doesn't sound as fun no, as, as how it looks, at least from the outside. I don't. I, I love it. Like I really love. Well, it. you're a horse owner. I mean, I, I'm not even talking. Yeah, I love it. Point. Yeah. No, do, I don't know. What's for? I mean, for you guys, what's like the best big game thing you've been to? Super Bowl. Super Bowl. I was, By I, far. I was thinking bo- boxing. I've never been to, which we've discussed. Uh, so you mean we, like fun to have fun. Yeah, just like big, big events. Oh. We went to a, a Triple G fight at Madison Square Garden I mean, with Pat uh, right after going to a Yankees playoff game uh, like a couple years ago. That one-two punch was pretty fucking sweet. But, yeah, I agree. I mean, I think part of it, too, is, like, the derby itself is over so fast. Yeah. So it's like, yeah, you can yeah. watch, like, the the races that lead up to it. But, like, I mean, you're you're waiting all day for a three-minute race, yeah. essentially. Well, and it was different because we were – There's like, races all day. That's the thing. Well, right. Yeah, but I'm and, saying – And you'll like, get into – and if you're someone who gambles on it, like, right. you get into oh, yeah. it, you'll learn about it. Yeah. But. Well, if you're going and you're not ga- – like, I can't imagine going to it and not gambling. Are I mean, you allowed to gamble as an owner? Like, just getting fucked up all <laughs> you day. You are, but. actually. Okay. I, I, jockeys are not allowed to gamble. That makes sense. Mm-hmm. And yeah. all the people in the stables who might know stuff not allowed. are not allowed. Did anyone confuse you for a jockey? Jesus, Nick. That is what? offensive. Nick, you guys just got here. How dare Come you, Nick? We're Nick. saving those for the second hour. Come on. <laughs> uh, the, um, the, of all, so, as you guys probably could guess, I, I'm i very, very hard to offend. The internet tries, but I'm very hard to offend. The amount of, like, so my wife is roughly the same height as me, but wore absolutely enormous shoes on the red carpet yeah. and, on mm-hmm. Saturday. And the amount of short jokes and jockey jokes I got were astronomical. Yeah, that's ridiculous. Good. That's just low hanging. Good for you. Yeah. Own it. Own it, Ian. That's good, I don't good care. for you. I mean, yeah. normalize short guys with women who are taller. Sure. Yeah, so what are you, 5'10? You're 5'10, aren't you? Yeah, what are you? You know, yeah, around right there. Five, you should have walked uh, the red carpet on horseback. You should have. That would have been <laughs> sick. That would have been sweet. On Jace's Road. <laughs> oh, my God. That would have been something. Yeah. But, I mean, it must be fun because AJ goes, AJ doesn't do a lot. So no. he goes seven right. years in a row. Not it's a like lot of this public appearances. Time. Uh, well, I mean, you know, it's just, it's, it's a, everyone has to make it a priority to go and it's, but it's an awesome, once you get there, it's cool. It's like anything else you do, no matter where you're at, no matter what you're doing, if you like the people you're with, it's going to be cool. It's going to be fun, especially when you, you know, you know, these people, you don't get to hang out with them, you know, day to day and you get to see them and hang out. Sweet. And then there's some people I see just at the Derby that it's like, you're 
oh, I'm still like you're, you're friends with these yeah. people, even though you only see them once a year, kind of. Was uh was Wild Bill Turner there? Because he I saw a report somewhere that he said Aaron was walking around all weekend with huge erection. What? Excuse and me. Can you the, uh, the oh, second Bill, part. Yep. Wild, Billy Wild, Turner. Oh, the lineman that's on the Jets now. That wasn't. Yes. Uh, correct. Yep. Yep. Bootstrap Bill. Oh, okay, so I missed the report a little bit, but there was a report no. that says Aaron's very happy right now, and you were with him. Is he very happy? He did seem very happy. Now I cannot confirm or deny that he was rocked up and it was erect for two straight days that <laughs> okay. I was there. We were at the track for like what ten kind of hours. What medicine day. would that be? That'd be pretty <laughs> amazing. Also, I, that is a question I posed. To Matt Flynn, if that's happened, if he is rocked up, isn't it science that you cannot sprint with that situation going on? I don't know. We can Ooh. ask Ian about that Wait, later. What? But Aaron know. seems very, very true? happy. Depends on the tightness yeah. of your pants. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It, I mean, it would be the logistically of your difficult. Waist brand. No, I think it's like one of those things like where you your body won't do it. So you're saying Aaron's the happiest he's ever been in his life? I don't know. I can't say that, but he seems very happy. He seems very content. And yeah, he was, he had a great time, very calm, cool, calm, and collected. And I think, yeah, he well, get a good time. Well, then, uh, I'm not Aaron. How was Alan Lazard feeling? Okay. Good. Alan, first off, the first thing I said when I saw Alan was like, gee, like he's a tight end. How he big is he? Like he's like 6'4, yeah, he's massive. 230, 225. He looks like he's in great shape. He, the dude, man, he's, much, he's a lot bigger than I thought. Jimmy is bigger an is, absolute giant. Is that where? How much he? bigger he is than the right in the middle? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Ed. Yeah, Jimmy he's, Graham is. Yeah, Devonte is not small either. Devonte is a big dude. Like, yeah, it's there's these guys. Uh, Devonte looks I, just like regular size next yeah. to him. Yeah, he's not. Devonte is tall. He's jacked. Like, it's Devonte is a stud. I I played with Devonte his rookie year, and it's cool to see him over the years. Like, the dude's an absolute superstar. Obviously, when he came in, was he like that? Was he just immediately you knew that he was a dog? Like, for some of these I, dudes, yeah. there's a lot of clips coming so. out of. Uh, Josh Downs, the UNC yeah. wide receiver, oh, at uh, I love that at in Indy actually, and they're saying right away like, yeah, this guy is going to be a player. Was it like that with Devontae or no? I, I think so. You could tell, like, even though Devontae, I don't know his rookie year, how much how much play he got or how many balls he got, but yeah, from day one, like I didn't, I don't know when when was he drafted, Ian? You know, probably. Oh God, Four, was, fourteen or fifteen. Oh, no, no, I think it was earlier than that. I want to no, say 12, like right? two thousand eleven or twelve. Oh no, maybe? what round was he drafted? Oh, second round. Second, oh, no. yeah. My bad. Second Cause, round. Because he's so, always yeah. the best example of, you know, when everyone was like, how could the Packers not draft a receiver in the first round? It's like, well, have you seen yeah. Devontae? Ad and like, there's I so didn't know, yeah. Like, I think he's one of those guys I assumed was a first-round pick. I really did. He's one of those guys. We're like, yeah, I didn't know. There's no way I thought he was. So well, now probably, look at him. He's probably the only one that wasn't so fucking happy about it, just like Bootstrap Bill Turner said, because, mm -hmm. you know, now he does. Now he has to face Aaron, right? Do the Jets play the – uh, Raiders this year, I believe they, they do, do play the AFC West. I think they right? do. Yeah, mm -hmm. it is interesting. Uh -oh. Like we, I mean, obviously we spent a million years talking about the Rodgers thing, and mm -hmm. when's he going to get traded to the Jets? I mean, it's like it was felt like literally forever, so many months, and then we're not him. So like for yeah. us, it's just kind of like entertainment, whatever. Yeah. But for him, it's literally his life. So I cannot even imagine what this week must have been like for him. Like you go through the draft and you think it's going to happen, but God, like who? No, it was like I don't like. I was pretty sure it was going to happen before the draft, but like, would I bet my house on it? No. Mm -hmm. And it's his life, mm -hmm. and now it's done, and he's with the Jets, and he practiced at least once, and now he gets to spend the week just being like, I'm going to have fun. Like I, I imagine, like I think Billy Turner might have been onto something. Oh yeah. There's this has to be among the happiest he's been in a very long time. Yeah, and it won't sink in, I don't think, especially as a Patriots fan, and for Ty, it might never. Like, for with Brady, it took uh, not just that first year. Like, the first year that he went, they won the Super Bowl. It still didn't feel, like, real until maybe week eight or week nine. Like, it, it's not going to – the first time the Patriots play the Jets, it won't feel like it's a serious, real situation here until it is, like – pretty heavily into the season like okay Aaron Rodgers is first of all a New York Jet second of all is not number 12 anymore like him wearing eight yeah. is going to be weird yeah cool good number though it is good number. number it is weird but I think you're right because like the no matter what anyone says in terms of like you know him kind of like mending the like things in Green Bay hadn't been great between him and the front office for probably the last three years like yeah. they can say all the bull, like everyone can after the fact, especially. Be not like, no, definitely not normal. Like, no. like they got through it, and I think did an amazing job of like communicating and trying to get past it. But like, yep. it was not. I no way was it easy. Especially when you hear about him talking glowingly about like Ted Thompson and like AJ has too, you know. And it just like he he mentioned on here, you know, he's like this, this isn't the same regime that drafted me, you know. Like and it, it kind of yeah. even as like Packer a Packers fans, like you kind of knew it was always coming. 
And so it really wasn't a shock, but it does kind of like it hurts a little bit when you see all this stuff. Like he's the happiest he's yes. been in a long fucking time. I know, like he, I know. he couldn't, you know, and then like. I didn't take it that way. I guess I didn't take it that way, Ty. Is that how a lot of Packers fans I think now? I guess they took it as a shot oh, almost. Nah, I, I didn't take it as a shot. It's just like, it's just weird, you know, because like you, you like to think in your own head, like, well, things things couldn't have been that bad, you know? Like he won back-to-back -back MVPs. They went to an NFC championship. They probably should have won a Super Bowl during the COVID year. Like, so you hope that yeah. it wasn't like that, but then when you can kind of like – go look back at it from 30,000 feet. It's like, oh, yeah, there was so much animosity there. And, like, he probably was just, like, he couldn't wait to get out. And that kind of just sucks when it's, like, you know, it's it's your franchise quarterback, a guy you've been watching forever. Like, to think that his last couple years there, like, he was just gritting his teeth and couldn't wait to get out of there. Like, that kind of sucks. And even still, like, I did feel like, like, I felt like with, and I would say this, like, when Boston Radio, like, EI or whatever would have me on, and they would kill me. Because they what? basically thought that Brady couldn't get wait to get away from from Bill and the Patriots. Mm -hmm. And like my thought was like it was a great time for both sides to break and I think they were both happy about it. Yeah, that like for the the Boston people like the Jimmy G is feels like what started that whole thing. Exa right. You and know? that's why there's so many parallels. Like it really yeah. was and Brady I'm um, you know was was basically like, yeah, I'm just going to play long enough where this is not going to matter and then yeah. did. Um but like the Rodgers Packers divorce or whatever feels good for both sides. It was clean. It was respectful. Like, and was I, it clean though? I mean, as clean as it could have been. Yeah. You know, like it's and especially because Rodgers likes Jordan Love, so there's no weirdness there. Mm -hmm. And like, you know, it was. I think it probably took a little longer than Rodgers would have liked just the actual trade stuff. But those are negotiations, so like they happen when they. I don't know. Like I, it, I don't know it, if it was clean. Just because of the ninety ten retired um, playing thing, like if it, if it was clean, he would have retired. Well, and even like his introductory press conference with the Jets, he was talking about how like you know Gudikins didn't make enough of an effort to try to like contact him and reach yeah. out to him, and he was like, "If you want to talk to me, you got to Facetime with me." And then someone asked, which about was amazing because like you can do Facetime audio. Oh yeah, yeah. Like that's a great. I mean, I'm. That's a great tactic. Anyway, go ahead. But then Gudikins, someone asked him about that in one of his press conferences, and he basically was like, yeah, that's bullshit. Like, I've tried to reach out yeah, to this guy time did. and time again. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, whereas I, if it really was, like, clean and not bad, I feel like both of them could have just taken the high road and be like, hey, you know, and, and he did. You know, he was talking about how he always is going to love his time in Green Bay and the fans and everything. But, like, you can tell that there's still definitely animosity between him and the front office of the Packers. I think that's probably right. But I, I still, th and like, yeah, so I still think it was, I mean, let's say as clean as it could have been. Like, there was no, like, s not a lot of sniping back and forth. Like, Rodgers didn't unleash, like, people he's close with to say all these terrible things about the Packers. True. It was like, let's just let this play out. Yeah. Like, he, you know, like, and that's why it was so interesting when he went here and was like, I intend to play for the Jets. Mm -hmm. Like, it seems crazy to think about now, but, like, we weren't sure of that. No, yeah. at all. I mean, you got, AJ probably knew. But like no, I mean it, yeah, it's yeah. You do. I don't know. Yeah, now looking back on the whole situation, now it seems clean because it's over and it's done. But I don't know. I don't know what that's supposed to look like. What is it yeah. supposed to look like when a guy leaves a team after being there that long and all of this? Yeah, it's, it it will be weird, especially the first like preseason, first regular season of the game to see him out there wearing number eight for the Jets. Yeah. Okay. So, mm -hmm. so I was reading the Peter King stuff today, which I'm sure you guys have read or yeah. Leafed, oh yeah, leafed is through. It, is it Monday morning? Uh, no, that is Albert Breer. No, that's Breer. Is it no, Monday morning? I said, Breer, is actually, it Monday morning? Oh, ha, ha, the answer rhetorical. is yes. The answer is yes. Yeah. 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 Football yeah. morning in America. I read that. Yeah. Yeah. Breer, Breer actually did a nice job on the full breakdown yeah, of all the both. Packers yeah. stuff. Uh, I, sh I mean, obviously you guys have read that. And then sure. Peter King did a thing on the schedule today, which some people thought was going to be released What's Thursday. What's the schedule? Tell us. Go ahead, Ray. Um I have no idea. Marquee games, go. Yeah, pull up the graphic, Bruce. Um, I have no idea. Um, they don't tell me. No, but it was it's like the Packers are going to be or the Packers. Jesus, the Jets with Aaron Rodgers, their quarterback, are oh, going to be when huh? Sunday night, Monday oh, night. Yeah, yeah, which prime time? Spot? Which pr I mean, you all know, it's going to be a prime time spot. No, but for week one, play the Jets. Like, is it Patriots? I could see them being in the opener. Ooh. Do they play the Chiefs? No, this year? they do play the Chiefs this year. Chiefs, Jets, it, opener, it could God definitely. Could no, 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 not at. They're not at home though, right? Who? Oh, the Jets. oh, you're saying Chiefs. home opener? They're not because Chiefs are going to open at home. Yeah. Right. So the, the Chiefs options. I went on the internet um, and looked this up beforehand. <laughs> See, this is smart. 
Yeah, should, this is re, it's called research. Um, should I write that down. Chargers, Raiders, obviously. Bills, Dolphins, Bengals, Eagles. Those are all the Chiefs, Chiefs home games. possible openers. I mean, you could run it back opening night with Eagles and Chiefs. Yeah, I think that would be sweet. And they're putting the banner up in front of oh. the team they beat. What the in NFL the Super do, Bowl. Mr. NFL Dude. reporter? Would the NFL do that to the yeah. Eagles, or would that feel like they are rubbing it in their face? Uh, no, I them? think. I mean, I, I think that's a Chiefs move, right? Like, I think you would. I think they would do it. Call uh, that would be Oof. emotional. That's tough. I, I don't know. Have they I done that want... before? Have they done a rematch of the Super Bowl before to open it up? I don't. I don't think know if it's so. worked out like that before because you have to get lucky that the AFC, the AFC and NFC team yeah. are playing that division. Right. Yeah, I don't think yeah, maybe so. they will then. Why not? But all those teams, I mean, Bills, Chiefs, I, I would guess Bills, Chiefs, but also the Bills just opened up last the season year. last Bengals year against Chiefs. the Rams. I I, Bengals, Chiefs would make sense. Yeah. That's kind of a rivalry now, you know. I mean, you got two of the, what, top three best mm-hmm. young quarterbacks yeah. in the NFL. I mean, and also, like, it, you know, there's a, it is amazing now how many good young quarterbacks there are. Like, I remember thinking, like, say it was six or seven years ago and, like, Breeze was kind of hanging on and – you know, Brady was obviously still around. Peyton was kind of toward the end, although winning Super Bowls. And you're, I'm like, where are all the young guys? And it didn't seem like they were anywhere. Oh, yeah, especially in the AFC. Like, I've said this before, the Brady era of Super Bowls and, like, success the Patriots had, it was just Big Ben, Brady, and Peyton Manning. Yep. And then, like, you could Don't. throw in Flacco Don't. every once in a while. What? Don't do that. No, I'm, not, I'm just saying, you could throw in footsteps because – that Super Bowl run they had, he was absolutely surgical. But there was never this. I mean, there are ten good quarterbacks in the AFC that could you could make an argument that maybe not ten could win a Super Bowl, but you could make a real argument that seven of them could win a Super Bowl. Like every single playoff yeah. team this year could have a chance. That's why it's. I mean, the NFC is wide open, especially now that Rodgers is with the Jets too. Well, and now, now that they have their best throwing quarterback of all time. Yeah, Amen. The forty. 40- 49ers, you're saying? Yeah. Yeah. yeah who who said that. that? So who, hold on. That's he, on my clip list. He is a guy who writes for the NBC. Matt Mayoko. Sam, yeah, yep. there it is. Very respected oh, yeah. reporter. Yeah, yeah, Pies yeah. on, I believe. Maybe. Uh, <laughs> seems possible just <laughs> based on Mayoko. A, <laughs> initial glance. Well said, Your deduction. Thank but, you. you know, has covered the Niners for 20 years. Okay. The Sam Darnold thing is interesting. Like, I, uh, so I think it was on this show, yeah, when I said something like that there was a very real chance that Darnold was going to be yes. the starter week yeah. one, mm-hmm. and I got a lot of pushback. From? From people there. Oh, okay. were like, oh. why in, would you discount? In the building or like Niners fans? Uh, in the building. Okay. okay. Like, why would Big you difference. discount Trey Lance? And I'm like, I get it. But like, Trey Lance has not, we have not seen, whatever Trey Lance is going to be, we have not seen it. Unless we have. That's kind of the biggest worry, right? Is that this is really just the worst trade in the history of sports? I still don't think there's enough. He didn't play enough last year. Like the, we don't know. it was in his first NFL game. It was in shitty weather, and then he so broke bad. his leg. Like, yeah, but he hasn't played in six years. It's like, how long is it going to take the guy yeah. to be good at football? Why would they yeah. bring Darnold in if the right. front office or right. whoever you may be talking to over there thought that Trey Lance was going to be good to go for Week One? Yeah, wouldn't it be like kind of more, or, right. or they had confidence in him? I was actually interested. So I, you he's know, healthy, right? when I go through the draft, mm-hmm. I basically call everyone in my phone, right? Literally everyone. Sweet. A lot of people don't answer me, which is that's all good. So nice all, everyone's own decision. But I was talking to a offensive coordinator who had who had done whose team was looking for a quarterback, and he'd done all the quarterbacks. Okay. And he was like Bobby Sloak. Uh, <laughs> it was not Bobby of Sloak. Um, and he was like, Donald probably looked as good last year as I've for stretches as I've seen him. Towards the end, he looks pretty decent. Pretty good. Mm-hmm. So, like, ma- like everyone, it seems everyone looks good in Kyle Shanahan's offense. I was like, just going to say, yeah, it's the perfect situation for him now, too. With their running game, I mean, we reference it all the time. He ran Jimmy a little G. bit, too, last year. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Darnold started yeah. to run a little yeah. bit. He can scoop, but in that offense, like, they could run the ball 50 times a game. If, or not a game, but there will be games where he doesn't have to win anything. Like he, they, he's got to deliver what a couple balls in inside yeah. a window. But he's Just it's not as out. if like, yeah, it's not it's not like they have a defense that isn't going to keep him in games. They're the best defense in football. So right. it's like hey, can you with George Kittle, Ayuk, Debo, uh, McCaffrey in the back, oh, Elijah Jesus Mitchell. Christ. Like, can you just get us to the point where we're scoring three three touchdowns or we're scoring 21 points a game? Because if that's the case, we'll probably end up being the one or two seed in the NFC. 
Yeah, I mean, I just think about the first three games of last year in Carolina when Sam Darnold looked really good yeah. and he had good offensive line and Christian McCaffrey was healthy. And it's like what, you know, it's like AJ was talking about Devonta Adams is it's like a rookie. And it's like one of the hardest things for us who examine these guys on like a daily basis is being like, you know what? If I could just step back and say, okay, people develop whenever they develop. So like, I guess it is possible that Sam Darnold is still developing and mm -hmm. maybe has gotten, he's only like 20. He's 25 still. So. That's crazy. Yeah, which is yeah, nuts. Kenny Pickett's nice. also 25. Yeah, it feels like Darnold's been the head, lead for head and hookers. Head and Hooker's 25. That's so crazy. <laughs> How's Purdy doing? Do we have any updates on him? That's it. Yeah, like if Purdy's He's on schedule. It sounds like he's doing fine, but the, the real problem is going to be, like, let's say he's ready to throw for camp. Like, that's – if he's ready to throw for camp, like, really go through practice, then I think we're good. And he's the starter. No matter – He's the like, starter. He's their guy. He Right. That is the way it seems. The problem is going to be, what if he's, like, a couple games yeah. away? Like, you guys, like, it's, so then Donald starts one game, and then he wins. And then he starts a second game, and then he wins. And it's like, I, you know. Ride the hot hand. I, it just creates, yeah. I feel like Kyle Shannon's brain is going to explode with every year being asked a million quarterback questions, mm -hmm. but, like. Like, they did to themselves. Yeah, do we do Purdy or do we do Darnold? That's right. why. Is Purdy scheduled to throw before camp at all? Like, is he on schedule? Can he at least throw lightly in June or July? Yeah. Do we know? Yeah, so he had surgery. Uh, God, in mid February, right? I can't even remember. Yeah. No, I thought well, it was, it was March. It says right here, this is a report uh, from March, four days ago right. that Brock Purdy is a few weeks away from throwing. So basically, the way okay. it's supposed to be is three months of nothing and then three months of throwing, which, like, that's a long ramp up, but it also takes you right to the start of the season. Yeah, but what if he has a wet Sounds like he's going to have, back. yeah, it could. Yeah. But, or he could be like Ho Ho Hosengardner. Yeah, sure. Uh, sounds like he's going to have arm. June, July, what a great and movie August. That was. Great oh, so good. To so good. Where they can figure it out. Like, if they'll have pretty much all training camp to see his arm to see if they're gonna, he's going to start pretty much. Also, with Trey Lance, though, like, if it, if it comes down to either. Darnold or Trey Lance, like at some point they, they have to tr play Trey Lance. Otherwise, like they have absolutely no trade value and they're, they're going to end up just, it's like, oh, we traded away all these assets to have a guy who's going to be like our third string quarterback. Like, I mean, granted, they're winning, so it doesn't matter. But like any other GM head coach in the league, like you're getting shit canned for that move. And it feels like they're not going to play Trey Lance. I mean, it just it just doesn't feel as though he's going to be there. They know what they have in Trey Lance, though. Like they obviously have an idea. They have they, to. Yeah, you guys have talked I mean, about it. You talked about Aaron in practice. People have talked about Mahomes in practice. Like, you you yeah. can tell in practice if a guy. Well, him. I mean, think about for the Packers. Like, Rodgers had the broken thumb, the Volsian fracture, whatever it was. So, like, Jordan Love got a lot of reps. Mm -hmm. Like, I am sure that they have seen whatever it is he's going to be. So, what? like. Which could be good, right? Because if they have and then they're still okay with – Letting Rodgers go, like yeah. even when they were doing that whole, and Aaron talked about this, where it was like going into the, they told me take your time, do your thing, you know, do your process. We'll let you have what you need. And he said he was ninety ten retiring and playing. They must have had some sort of thought, like, hey, Jordan Love is going to be our guy. We whether he wants to play or not, we should just move on to Jordan Love. Well, and I think they were even like almost a little bit excited about him because there was that point where it was right after the Eagles game and then the Packers won, you know, however many games in a row to keep him in playoff contention. But oh. they were seriously talking about sitting Rodgers and playing love for the, the rest of the year just because it's like, hey, you know, like this this guy, like we, we believe in him. We kind of like what we've seen so far and we just want to see more of him in like live game action. So like I don't think they would have done that if it's like, hey, Jordan loves a bum. We can't throw mm -hmm. this guy in, in the heat because he'll get exposed and then we'll look like idiots. And if we really do want to get rid of Rodgers, like the public backlash will be like, well, you can't, you can't get rid of this guy. Like the guy who's supposed to replace him isn't, yeah. isn't ready to replace him. Yeah, I was like, of all the things that, I, you know, sometimes like you'll get a sense for when big news is going to happen. And of all the things I was like bracing myself for, it was that. It was like they lose a couple, and then it's like, are they going to play Jordan Love or not? Mm -hmm. What if he's good? Or, oh, God, what if he's not good? Because, like, at all, at some point at all, it's like you guys were saying about, it's like AJ was saying about Trey Lance. Like, at some point, like, got to play, and then we'll find out either yay or nay. And, like, that Jordan Love drama would have been, like, oh, mm -hmm. was, juicy. But yeah. cl clearly the Packers feel much better about Jordan Love than the Niners do about right. Trey Lance. Like, that's got to be at least – some sort of saving grace for Packers fans. Like, hey, they wouldn't just say 
because he's our, or I guess now that I'm about to say it, maybe they do just say this, hey, we drafted him, we need him to be the guy, so we're just going to put him in. But would they really just get rid of Rodgers and piss Rodgers off, you know, right when he's about to retire just so that they could play Jordan Love? I don't know. Maybe they would because they drafted him. Not if they thought he was garbage. Not if they felt like he had no chance. Like, they obviously have to feel this dude has something. We can find a way. His ceiling must be really high. And they like the progress he has made. We've we've heard him say that publicly, which obviously they should. And we don't know if they – I'm sure they do believe it. But if they thought he was garbage, I think this would have been a much different situation. They thought this guy absolutely cannot be our quarterback. It was interesting, too, because right after they got rid of Rodgers, it was LaFleur who was like, hey, we need to temper expectations on – on Jordan Love going into this year. Like, he's still a young guy. But then I think it was either yesterday or, like, two two days ago, he did an interview and was just gushing about Jordan Love and about, like, how far he's mm-hmm. come, how good he looks so far this year, how, how good he's looked in, like, the last couple weeks. So it seems like they have kind of do- done almost like a 180 on, like, the – like, going in, I, I think, for a lot of Packers fans, too, it was the same deal. Like, it's tough because it's the Packers, and you it's like 4-13 hey, and 13 isn't an option. 5-12 and 12 isn't well, it. Weren't they – AJ, you were, I think you were on this team. Like, Rodgers' first full year starting, they didn't make the playoffs. Seven right? and nine, I think. Six and, six six and, and ten, ten that's right, yeah. But he play, Aaron played well. He really did. We gave up a billion points. So when Why? So that year. <laughs> Great question. Yeah, what the hell happened, Hawk? I don't know. <laughs> Tough to stop offenses in the league sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> I can just They're see AJ. Players. I can just see AJ at his locker just answering the question from, like, the 50,000 Packers reporters. Like, I don't know, guys. Like, just. It's tough to yeah, stop off right. yeah, but that's yeah, we thing. ruined it, man. Sorry, guys. We're scoring. This guy can sling the ball. We're scoring points. We just haven't slowed the other team down as much as we should. Which so you, well, and then you had the players only meeting, right? You let yeah. it, and you had <laughs> and you kind of laid down the law. Right. Oh, you guys wanted definitely to my thing. Yeah, yelled at everybody, got on my high horse, yelled at everybody because you were naked. And we always snapped you, right in the back. You, you were naked, and you swung on Bob Demovsky in the in the locker room. <laughs> Come here, Bob. Man, Ian, have you ever seen a naked <laughs> fight with a reporter and a player? Uh, no. When's the last time you've been in a locker room after a game? Yeah, yeah. come on. You, it's wasn't been, there that it's time? been a couple of years. It's been about 10 years. Didn't Pelissero that awkward for piss you, off Ian? Marty Bennett, right? Didn't that happen in Chicago? Uh, maybe. Who was? Oh, okay. I, I he, was going Marty was name. <laughs> sweet. He pissed off Jerome Simpson back in the day. I oh, that. boy. Um, Old move, Tom. What, was, there a, was there a naked locker room fight that I missed? No, we just always wonder. I mean, there's usually, there's definitely, it's happened with players, but not usually not with the media in there. I'm just wondering if you guys ever saw a guy get start to get up in somebody's chest or something, and he either has a towel on his shoulder or he's getting out of the shower or whatever. Yeah, I've I've seen it. I mean, I, you're right. Like I haven't been in a lot of locker rooms post game. It's like people are always asked, like, you know, are you like how many players do you know? And I'm like, uh, how many dongs you see after the game? <laughs> what? Is that what people ask you? Uh, Who has the no. biggest dong? <laughs> No, thank I'm God. sure people do. Absolutely, people probably do. I know, guys, yeah, that happens. I, really? I played the fifth on all of that. Um, oh. It is. Uh, <laughs> no, but, like, people always ask, like, how many players, you know? And it's like, well, I'm not in locker rooms that much, cause, or maybe never. So Well, not, not anymore. Many. You were, though. I was. I was, yeah. So, like, you'll see, like, tense moments after games. But, like, what you kind of hope is that unless – it becomes something that really affects a football team, you don't really make it like a huge deal. Mm. Right? It's like even I remember in New England when it was a Sunday night Steelers Patriots game or something like Hell that. Hell yeah. And Bill O'Brien and Brady got into it in the sidelines. You guys remember this? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, of course. And even though in New England it was a massive story, and even though I reported on it as if it was a massive story, mm-hmm. I still was kind of like, this is dumb. Co- a quarterback and offensive coordinator yell at each other all the time. Like, wait until Mac and O'Brien do it on the sidelines this year. Oh, yeah. Everyone's heads are going to explode. And I'm going to be like, have you met these guys? Well, that was the cool part about the Brady Man in the Arena documentary. Like, when they specifically. Which I watched y- all of that. Oh, yeah. It was so, unbelievable. I yes. didn't watch the last episode. But, uh, spe- <laughs> How come? You watched the whole thing, then not the last episode? Why would I watch the last episode? What's the last Fair. episode? You know what the last episode is, Tony. No, I don't. I don't want to say bye to the team or what. what no, happened? it's just it's just him and Tampa. I don't need to oh, fucking see that. Okay, that okay? Uh, there's no point. I need. To, I do want to see that. But yeah, okay. Well, go watch it then, prick. But in one of the episodes, <laughs> they talk. It's strictly about like the Bill O'Brien and Tom Brady relationship, and like Pat and has referenced it a bunch of times, like T Kettle Bill. Because that's what they would call him. Because yeah. he would just get so mad, and then they could see it happening in his face, and then he just explode. 
But then, you know, Gronk has said this, and Tom hasn't, but Gronk has said if he were to ever have, you know, one play caller for a team, it would be Bill O'Brien. Like, that's his oh, really? guy. Yeah, like everyone loves God, see, that's Bill like, O'Brien. For Mac Jones, that's got to be the greatest thing ever. And I know Mac was pumped, pumped yeah. about Bill, yeah. Bill O'Brien. That's why, I like, free agency, and, I mean, me and Tony have talked about this because the Steelers have had their problems with offensive play callers, but – the biggest thing for the Patriots oh. and Patriots fans. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm not very, very trying awesome. to. Whoa! Wow! Wow! Talking wow. about breaking wow. news. Wow. Holy shit! This is breaking news. Wow! Out and about. How about? Oh yes. The star. Woo. I mean, Hell that yeah. is beautiful. Man. Man. Does he know how to work a stroller? Oh, it's yeah. actually really challenging. It's dominating right now. Wow. Crushing. Absolutely. That took me at least many months to do that. That is. Oh. Oh my God. <laughs> Sorry. It's all right. We kept it off. Hey, team, how we doing? Hey. Oh, hey. Cool. How are you doing? Hey. hey. How are you? Good What's to up, see parents? you, team. How you guys doing? So we had our first uh, appointment. Appointment. Yep. Right down the road here. So as we're driving by the Thunderdome, I said, hold on one minute. Let's go ahead and get old beautiful Mackenzie in the Thunderdome for the first time. She's kicking ass. She's kicking ass. Uh, great to see You're you. You're kicking Rep, ass. Rep, we haven't watched any of this. Seriously? Uh, I've missed the whole first 50 minutes. We're going to watch it back, though. Oh, please see. don't. You look great. You look great He's right not going to watch it back, right? No, he'll watch it back. I hope not. It's been bad. <laughs> Top five worst of all time? Oh, I mean, it's up there. It's definitely <laughs> up there. What are your thoughts on it, Mackenzie? Oh, nothing. <laughs> She's got nothing. <laughs> oh, no. Rap sheet. See what you're doing? Rap sheet. Why don't you stand over it. here? You go eye to eye with her and figure it out. No, I'm joking. That was so no, kids rude. kids love me. They really AJ, do. AJ, I can't hear a word you're saying over there, AJ. I, I want to let you know you look fantastic. I saw a photo of rap earlier over here. Fun fact, Ian, I don't even know if you know this. Mm -hmm. You are four cases tall. Do you know that? Oh, no. Do you know that you, oh, you are? No. I can't think of a better thing to be measured by than cases of blood. Well, that's what, what you were standing over here talking to Foxy, and Ooh. thank you for coming out here and doing this, especially after the Thanks long weekend having. of your horse just being terrible. Yeah. Uh, uh -huh. But it was in the Derby. Your horse was in the Derby. Yeah. That's all that matters. Did you guys watch that? We did. Yeah, I that's bet cool. a lot of money on Jace's Road. Sorry about that. Sorry. Sorry. About that. Uh, a lot of people were like, hey, man, just lost my house. There's you. Yeah. Oh, yes. Well, it should have been nice. nice. Connor hair actually, looks amazing. Chase, but Connor yeah. actually uh, bet on a horse because he he was told it was gray. Yes. Then as they're doing Tap the trice? horse, nope. Hold the phone. Two fills. Oh. Yeah. Turns very out. brown. Very brown. Yeah. Horse. Not a gray horse. But. Yeah. Foxy Foxy almost lost all his money on uh, Connor telling him it was a gray horse, so he bet on as well. Only reason I bet on him. I think she's gonna go eat right now. What a time. What an absolute How are you talk. doing, man? Yeah, how are you? What's going on? I'm good, man. You look good for just having had a baby. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate that. I can't hear it. Let me go run and get ears. I'll be back. Yeah. Okay. No, oh, no, no. I need the whole oh, okay. the pack. I keep them handy just in case. That's a good move. Is that a brand, just brand new? Yeah, these are just brand new headphones yet to be opened, you know, because you never know, really. When you're going to need them. Yeah, well, like what happens if these? If one of them just dies, you know? You got to have them. Glue factory. AJ, ha exactly. Glue, glue factory. That's where I'm headed if I don't have those headphones. What? That sounds about right. Do we want to take a break and come back Definitely at the top not. of the hour with the star of the show? Or do if you want to keep if rolling? He's just grabbing them. It's not a terrible question, to be honest. Thing is, do I have the answer? No. All right. I'm going to make an executive decision. Okay. Oh, this is bold rap. This is your first executive this decision. This is a big one. Do it. It's a big do it, one. rap. Whatever you need to do. I don't We're going to pause. Oh, We're going to pause. Oh, wait. Nope. Feels Pat, like, uh, Pat, I'm thinking of going a break now and coming back with you at the top. What do you think of that plan? Oh, good tease, Rob. Good tease. Oh, there you go. All right. There you go. Affirmed. Let's go. <laughs> Nobody leave. <laughs> Stay right there. The newest dad that we all know, I, I assume. Is, yeah, yeah. I don't know a lot yeah, of no, new yeah. dads. Yep. yep. Pat McAfee of the show Hell yeah. is going to join us at the top. With or without his lovely wife and baby, we'll see. Don't go anywhere. We will be right back. And come on back. Come on, there yep. it is. Yeah. yeah. Come on back.
tonight is a night where everything's gonna be remembered. Every play, every sweat, every fight. Hop in the car, watch it go boom, boom. I told them all that I blow soon, soon. No, it's a child back in the womb. Let's have a national championship Monday, huh? My name's Pat McAfee. I've started the show two different occasions already. This will be the third. Wow! <laughs> it's 2023. We eat adversity for lunch. Ugh. There's just so many different forms of gummies coming in my mouth. Boss man, can you do a kickflip? 100 for it? 100 for it? That was awesome. Hey, this little teddy bear is cool. It's all around sweet. <laughs> all right, I feel pretty good for this ESPN party. Let's go have a blast in there. Boom, need you to do a red carpet. I've never done a red oh, carpet yeah. before. I got a poop, sorry. I don't know if now's the time. We're invited to the ESPN party, and now we are all sitting on a red carpet. We had no idea this was coming, obviously. We thought we were just getting some free drinks. <laughs> A lot of people on the internet say I look tired. What? What's that all about? I'm a massive fan of Posner. Mm -hmm. He was giving motivational speeches in between yeah. songs. He was playing yep. other people's songs. Good. He was telling people, stay done. We're going to make a moment. <laughs> Only on a count of three, we're going to go yep. crazy. Oh, I know. Say so. Say so. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, oh, a couple of these. Oh, oh, Bring it up. Oh. Who's up? What do you like? <laughs> <laughs> what you doing? Gotta make it a man, baby. Gotta last until 9 o'clock. Happy birthday! Sack of shit. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm so fired up to be here. Yeah! Hell yeah! yeah. I got a neck tie and everything. <laughs> <laughs> Holy what? shit. What Tim missed? Tebow's here. Oh, oh my, my God. God. Look at that cut. The most handsome shot in our show's history. Thank Nick you. Saban. Has been spotted at SoFi. Great work in the back box team. The boys crushed it. Now we got game day, then the mega cast. Let's go. Hey, what's up tonight? Obviously, the enemy of great is good. The enemy of a dynasty is winning one championship and letting it go. Prime, you're obviously going to Colorado, a place that's been looking for some sort of championship for 20 years. You're also one of the greatest speakers I've ever heard. What are you saying to your team? You can't get here and all of a sudden change. Yeah. You don't want to see a different mannerism of somebody, especially the coach. You see, everybody's talking about the players. Yeah. But you got to coach the coaches, too. Did yeah. you smile there, yeah. too? I saw are you smile. smiling? Yeah. I saw I smile. I do that every now and then. We got some real magic here tonight, don't we? I love that toad that takes those mushrooms. And eating them. <laughs> With that being said, Stetson Bennett's 25 years old. He's so damn comfortable. Darnell Washington's the backup tight end. He's 6'7", 270. Brock Bowers, best player on the field. The defense full of dogs. Give it to Georgia Bulldogs. You go back to back first time since this man and his Alabama squad. I love the Bulldogs tonight. Barking all over the place, coach. We went all the way to the roof to come back. We are so sorry. All right, let's roll. I'm going to get to the sleep. I'm going to hop over the sleep thing. Looking at SoFi Stadium, where we'll be crowning a national champion for our college football season tonight. In the dogs oh, are on oh, the oh, board oh, early. Why don't oh, that's the shot that they wanted, baby? Oh, oh that's embedded with his second touchdown in the first half. Pick. Oh no! Oh no! Georgia's oh, first no. down. One-handed oh, touchdown. Oh. Rock Myers, oh. touchdown. It is currently 45 to 7. It is 52 7. Touchdown! This is just a good old back home ass whooping. It's a blowout, and that's the way the cookie crumbles. Hey -oh. That son of a bitch, Ugga, is having the night 
of his life. Wow. It's raining indoors in Los Angeles. This is God taking a tinkle on something magical, isn't it? Let's get, let's get. get him on camera. That must have. <laughs> Holy wow. smoke. Holy smoke. Are you a firefighter? Good for you, bro. Thanks oh. for your service. First down, Horn Frogs on a second and three. Why don't we call a game? Holy hell, he Tim is. Tebow oh, is he coming. Is. Tebow, we're live. We're on. We're live right now. Welcome back to SoFi Stadium. Right before the break, an extra point almost killed Tim Tebow. Natural instincts had to take in place. I could not lose the greatest human on earth, and I'm happy they gave you that ball, Tim. Tone, act like your sunny dykes, please. All right, boss. First half didn't go our way. We're doing this for the great state of Texas. You know who else was down 31 points? Who's that? The Italians. All right, let's take the tractor another, another round. round. What are you watching out there, coach? Honestly, you know, they're, they're better off grabbing Luka Doncic out of the crowd and maybe lining him up next to Quentin Johnson at receiver. Because <laughs> they can't do a damn thing. We decided to Tebow here, formerly known as praying for this TCU team to do something. So you put your hands up, play oh. that song, butterflies fly away. Thank you for your service, sir. You're a badass, man. Those other Americans. Americans, I wouldn't be here. What a ride, ride. The boys crushed it. Right. This shit sucks. You're gonna be so mean all the time. What? What a year. Let's fucking get home. Don't break the table, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> I just break shit. <laughs> Sorry, man. <laughs> <laughs> somebody oh, yeah. came sprinting behind the barrier and tried to spear him. He I fucking dare somebody. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. I dare yeah. the next food. <laughs> Ass kicking. Why? Right. Saudi Arabia. Why? Riyadh. Why? Taking a jet plane. Why? All the way there. Why? All the way back. Why? All the way back. Why? Coming to be champion. Why? Why? Destroyed our shit. Hey, why? Let's go. This show fucking stinks. And the fact that you listen, we are very, very thankful for it. AJ, you never cease to amaze me with your toxicity, pal. You got a couple of these? God <laughs> damn it! <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? Fuck, fucking cop! Welcome back to the Thunderdome. I am today's host of the Pat McAfee Show, Ian Rappaport, usually of NFL Network, today of literally right here. Insider! This is great, actually. I like that. I kind of forgot we did that last time. Yeah. It's great. It's all right. You nailed it. It's all um, right. We were very lucky to be joined at the bottom of the, or yeah. the top of the, the, end of, the end of the last there hour there you go. by the namesake of this show, Pat McAfee. Uh -huh. Who I think is going to join us soon. Pretty sure. Mm -hmm. um, there he is. Bang! There he is, walking toward. See, I can see the wrestling strut. Yeah, mm -hmm. I can go. see. Uh -huh. Play the music. <laughs> what do they? What music do they play for wrestling? The, everyone, yeah, everyone has their own. Right? No, but for they. Oh, they the in, the actual, he's got his own song. Yeah. It's the. The intro. It's the intro to the show. Yeah. Oh, you just I, heard it. I know because I watch uh, whenever I see you on. Ian. Ian, you're a terrible person. Wrestling, I watch. <laughs> Do you watch wrestling? No. Yeah, the WrestleMania show when we were at that pool. Remember? Yeah. 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 His favorite wrestler. I. He's a backland guy. Boy, that like was right you. before uh, WrestleMania. Oh, yeah. Good. yeah. No. Nobody outside of our office really knew that I was going to be a part of WrestleMania. Right. Mm -mm. Whenever he had that WrestleMania shirt on, uh -huh. yeah. almost had to be oh. a full. Oh, WrestleMania. Yeah, interesting. That was this don't bring weekend. it up. Don't bring it up. Don't bring it up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a full thing. Kayfabe, baby. Can I um, can I bring up something and not trying to make it uh, this awkward at all? Yeah, oh, Jesus. You didn't let me break the birth of your child. I thought you might. <laughs> Came out of nowhere, bro. I know, but <laughs> Came out of nowhere. as I tell, <laughs> as I when as I tell agents or general managers or coaches, like, oh yeah, call me by surprise. I'm like, 
You still had time to tweet it. Who broke it? Me? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Put out your own stuff. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. it is weird because you said when it was happening, you're like, fuck, I have to text Rap Sheet right now. Because if I don't, then how will yeah. anybody? Right when her water broke, right? When her yeah. water broke. Yeah. Oh, that would right have been away. a good oh, no, that would have been a good time. So her water broke 2 50 a.m. Mm -hmm. So I got woken up 327 when she said, Hey, I think my water broke. My first thought was Need tell rap. Yeah, hold yeah, on. Yeah. Hold you didn't answer thought. your text. You were sleeping. You were getting ready to booze up for the derby. How was the derby? Your horse lost. I bet on it. Yeah. Ooh. I don't know what that's all about. Ain't that right, AJ? I told the whole group. Everybody's like, who are yeah. we betting on? Who are we betting on? I was like, I'm betting on Jason's Gates. Road. Our friend has a horse in the race. That was uh -huh. the only reason why I was betting on that horse. This is why Rogers hates me now, because everyone in AJ's group bet on him too, right? Really? Oh, I can't say that's the fact. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> what a weekend, though. Derby looked like a great time. Sweet. AJ, AJ, how come you didn't do the hands? I thought you were the inventor of the hands. Yeah, Have yeah, you guys yeah, already yeah. talked about this? No. 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 Uh, yeah. What happened? What happened with the oh, hands? For a, for a picture, you mean? Yeah. yeah. I don't know. I mean, I was just standing there trying to be professional. I don't know what, what everybody else was doing, but yeah. That's Maybe. not what you said to me. He told me it's played out. Yeah. Wait, what? the picture, oh, the yeah. picture where everyone did the hands, he wasn't doing the hands? No, he's the only one not doing it. The whole group. Look, he's yeah. back, right? And obviously NFL tweeted this uh, and posted this. Checkdown posted this. The crew's out and about. Look at Money Team Ed, by the way, top left. You saw Ed Barry oh, up in there? Wow. Yeah, Money Team Ed, okay. top left. He looks oh, yeah. fantastic. What a group Hair out is there. amazing. AJ's the only guy that didn't do the hand thing. I thought AJ created the hand thing. So, yeah, I thought he did, too. Having a baby, I I didn't expect this. Mm -hmm. I thought I was going to be checked out of the world. Mm -hmm. But when you're just wandering your house at 3 a.m., sure. you know, when the baby cannot sleep mm -hmm. for whatever reason, you can talk. Oh, her, yeah. Which I try to. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I try to reason with this little drunk thing. Yep. Sing. <laughs> Sing. Oh, yeah. I'm doing everything. You name it. Yeah. There's nothing. So I'm wide awake. You do a lot of like, I'm actually keeping up with everything pretty. Mm -hmm. I thought I was going to be yeah. checked out. I'm keeping up with everything pretty uh, good. Okay. I was disgusted that this guy did not do the hand thing. Yes, <laughs> despicable. Is that because you weren't a part of the Instagram post? Is that what oh, it was? Oh, okay. Could've that been. makes no, more maybe. sense. I mean, if I'm the one that, that you claim started it and I decided to not do it because I feel like it might be played out a little bit, then it's my choice, right? You're right. I have respect for it, I guess. Did, did you, you ask about choice? the Instagram post? About what? Oh, about Aaron's old school, his other one? Yeah. Yeah. No, I didn't. That's another missed opportunity. I guess I should have brought that up. <laughs> What'd you guys do? Did you guys booze the whole time? Like, what? Ian? Yeah, people were boozing. Like I, I don't, I don't know. You know, I, I smoke a lot of cigars and hang out. Where did the, I was at the track ten hours Friday and Saturday. Like, we're there the whole time. Aaron likes to bet on every single race. A lot of uh, people plant, smoking. A lot of plant talk. A lot yeah, of, plant yeah, a lot talk. of just mm -hmm. discussion about plant medicine with the one of the nation's gurus. I mean, isn't Rogers like one of the gurus? He's now? the yeah, uh, so. the four. Yeah, yeah. Like He's if the, I was going to have face. a plant He's medicine, the, face of it. the leading guru in America. I like believe. If, if I was a plant medicine person, which I am not. But if I was, that would be my Could number be. one target for like. Would you ever get into it? You know, you ever get into a slump? Maybe Shefty just beats the fuck out of you. <laughs> yeah, one, right. one straight year. Yep. You, you say that out loud. No, I'm just saying you, yeah. for some, something <laughs> happens. Hypothetical yeah. here. Hypothetical. Something happens. Shefty's just crushing you. Your tweet is 45 <laughs> seconds to 55 seconds yep. after every Shefter breaking news. And you think to yourself, this you know what? Impressive. I need to figure this out. I need to change it up. I need to change it up. You going into that jungle and doing a little ayahuasca rap? Is sure. that something that's going to happen? <laughs> the. I, I don't know, but I don't even know how I would be like, all right, let's go do this. What What do I like? I don't know. Every, what, and, what store do I go to? Yeah, I, don't know. I mean, well, you just laid out the, Walmart. the scenario yeah. why you would start to do it. You're getting your ass beat, and then, yeah, mm -hmm. you would just have No, but to, then I call, like. You call Rogers, and you go out to like what if little the latte, jungle. What if Little Latte passes you as. Oof. What he do? He, he just stole Gumpy. He's just been stealing Gumpy's clips. Oh, yeah. Wait, he's been happened? pilfering. Yeah, he's just been stealing clips that Gumpy's been piecing together and putting on our Instagram, and then he's just ripping them oh. yeah. and putting them up there. And it's Gumpy's awesome. like, pal, your dad's a billionaire. Yeah. <laughs> Gumpy is so yeah. pissed about Just taking my, all my hard work, pal. Fucking boot, Schultz. He won't stop stealing all my <laughs> shit. <laughs> this I, weekend to me. I miss this corner of the internet. Ah, well... It's a pretty good corner of the internet. Anytime yeah. Gumpy's involved in it, oh, yeah. it's a good part yeah, of the internet. Buy in. Music's the same. Gumpy's our internet splunker. Okay, so mm -hmm. he is yes. literally with the flashlight on his forehead. Yep. He's in the internet. He knows everything that happens. So we are very lucky for that. I think a lot of, I mean, knock on wood, there's a lot of news coming out of this particular office in the next couple of weeks. Hey, yeah. Yeah. A lot of news. Uh -huh. yeah, this, guy, yeah, this guy perk up. I thought the baby was the news. That's which so, I did that, not. Well, that's, that, the that's kind of the starter of, of the entire thing. Me too. Like birthday, everybody was way too. Could have just texted me. I'm. I'm my. My phone is up. I'm. My phone's on at three in the morning. I'm just saying. Anyway. Yeah, but Most you're so drunk. Phones are on. Yeah, everyone's phone. That is a good call. Too. I don't. I don't go there right before bed and fucking oh, turn this fucking thing off. Does anybody turn their phones off anymore? <laughs> I don't think so. When I got my first phone, when I was like. 
18, like Paranoid. I was about to graduate high school, got my first phone. Uh, it wasn't a flip phone, but it was the Nokia with the... Oh, yeah, the brick. The, Ra the, the Razor? It, it, no, that would have been awesome. Was it the one that turned like this? <laughs> Remember that oh, one? Sidekick? There's a little sidekick. Side the oh, kids yeah. that had those were so cool, dude. My, yeah. my wife had that. And she, no, she had the one with... Alias. The, you, you, would, you would take the, like... Thing down, and then the keyboard would be there. Oh, anyway. the chocolate? No, what that's one of them. Called? The yeah. Envy was a legend. Envy, yeah, Envy was, was a great phone. You mentioned, the alias you the mentioned the best one ways. of all. It's the Razor. It's, there's no. Where'd you go to school? Uh, College, Columbia. Oh, you had a BlackBerry or whatever. Yeah, yeah. probably yeah. BlackBerry yeah. Pearls. Probably the two first best one. Of all yeah, you were probably no. up there. In I remember walking through the mall and just seeing like the super yuppie kids. Oh, that's sweet phone. I'm playing Snake. I'm God, the thought of. Yeah, you know what I mean? The thought of a phone being a status symbol is just... Amazing. It was back in the oh, day. Big time. Big I had time. to learn T9 Word, the uh, I still, texting thing. Oh, yeah. I believe, and everybody's going to say this, this is like one of those things that you say and everybody's like, oh, me too or whatever. I think I could have competed at the T9 text. I think I... I couldn't figure it out. I think I could have competed. <laughs> figure it out? I really couldn't that figure it out. Real uh, that does kidding. not surprise me. But you're you, young. You're yeah, young. That, that wasn't a thing. I by believe the time I you kept mine at ABC though, because if you're texting in your pocket. So that's what I'm saying. I was doing that. Oh, my wife had a palm trio. Oh, oh. you have a palm trio. Oh, pilot. Leah you, lived good. She had yeah. an autopilot. Yeah. With it too. Yeah. She had a cool schedule. She yeah, oh yeah. I mean she worked, she <laughs> mm -hmm. she made money in college. She actually worked, so she Yeah, cool schedule. Hell yeah. That T9 thing was a game changer though. Oh yeah. It used to under used to underneath yep. the desk. Oh, yeah. T nine somebody in your pocket. Boom, 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 boom. Like four different conversations happening that in the middle of class. School. It was incredible. That was our high school. Now that's skills. You guys had Blackberries, uh -huh. and iPads, oh, probably yeah. before somehow. they even came out. Um, anyway, but I would turn my phone off when I would go somewhere, and I did not want my parents to call me, and my mom would get so mad. Well, yeah. Why would you turn your phone? I think that was the last. Did you time keep I your beeper on when you? How old were you? Eighteen. But like nine one one. You know. Yeah. Parents want to know where you are at 18, right? I, obviously, my kids will be checking in with me regularly when they're 18, as will Mackenzie. Well, course. especially Dude, your this, mom. This is wild. You two just had kids. AJ, you got 10 of them. You got a few kids you just sent away for four months at a time. They're right. Yeah. Have you decided where they're this summer you're going to send them? Is that something you, you've thought <laughs> yeah. about? Oh, yeah. No, they're both. Yeah. Yeah, okay. send them to California Sorry, this yep. year. Maybe mm -hmm. Fiji. No, Who knows? same place. Both of them go to the same camp this year. Oh, okay. Camp I didn't both. know if we can get them further away from the house right. for longer. Yeah. Um, it's all far away. She starts breathing weird, you know? And I'm like, oh, my God, she's dead. Oh, yeah. Dude, scary. it is. This is a thing. I, I am a laissez-faire human being. I think a lot of people would uh -huh. say that. Like, what are we worrying about? There ain't, if it's out of our control, let's not worry about it, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. I think oh, yeah. wife and I are good yin and yang. Like, she does. Like, she thinks ahead about things that could potentially yeah. happen and prepares and everything like that. I'm a big, if it's out of my control, I ain't worrying about it at all. Sure. Like, it might affect me, but if I can't control it, I ain't wasting any time letting it sit in here or in here. I'm going to move along. We'll see how it goes later. She, one little, and I'm like, yeah. <laughs> she's dead. Oh, my God. And then he just started looking at her. And I'm like, this is my whole life now. This is the rest of my life. Oh, yeah. yeah. I didn't know that's what I was signing up for. I didn't do yeah. enough research. I did not know I was signing up for, like, genuinely caring about everything that something does. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that's what my life is now. I, I've, I haven't had so much anxiety over something yeah. in my entire life as I've had in the last four days. It is wild, dude. Parenting is an absurd thing. I have no idea how you guys have handled it so well. And AJ, I don't know how you have 10 kids. How many does AJ have? Four. 10. I have four kids. He says 10, but yeah, four. I mean, but yeah, I think lot. that's – Ian, I imagine you would have the same thing. Pat, it's a great point. Like, I don't, I don't really worry about a whole lot of things. I don't overthink things. But, yeah, all of my – any anxiety or any worries I have on a daily basis has to do 100% with my kids and how things are going to – like, oh, what are we doing this? How do they handle that? What do I do there? Like – that's what it is. I was gonna say they they re, they re, they re, we they need us to survive, yes. especially at your age. You'll like you'll hear something, and then you'll get used to it for like two days. It'll take to get used to it, and then it'll be fine. okay. That's normal, and then there'll be something new. It'll take you two days to get used to that, and okay, that's normal. Two days, some something else pops up. It's just something every other day. So you know? she didn't poop for the first like. Mm -hmm. We're talking. We're, I don't know how Sam's gonna feel about me just talking about this all, but. <laughs> Sam's been kicking ass. She knows right. She's been an absolute, but yeah, she does. She knows this. <laughs> I said her name like four times on the show whenever mm -hmm. we weren't supposed to say her name. Michael Cole on WWE's Friday Night SmackDown. Mm -hmm. Shinsuke Nakamura. This is the day before Sam announced his name of baby. <laughs> right. Michael Cole goes, I know in a hospital in Indiana, Pat 
Sam and beautiful Mackenzie Lynn McAfee. Oh, man. Oh, no. This guy. So, so Cole had it before me? Cole, Cole had name. Cole had Cole name. Had. Cole texted me like, oh, I sent him a picture. He said, what's her name? I told her told him her name. I didn't say like, hey, Sam. Yeah, say this while yeah. she I'm going to have to hold that over his fucking head. I'm like, <laughs> yeah. Bingo. There That's good go. leverage, Sam. Yeah. <laughs> That's good leverage, Sam. That's good news. Uh, but, yeah, the whole – she didn't poop for the first like day and a half because mm -hmm. she came two weeks early. So I guess there's something in your body that is like a plug for your poop that drops out whenever you're born. Yeah. Okay. So it's not happening inside. People do poop inside of the, and I guess that's a whole thing too with bacteria and everything like that. So I've learned a lot about the human system here. So there was a time where they were telling us that she was maybe going to have to go to another, I was going to have to go hop in an ambulance with her ride to another hospital they're gonna have to give her an enema to flush her out and i'm like this is not how this girl is supposed to come into the world because everything else was completely healthy mm -hmm. so it was like something happened inside so the doctor came up to us and was like just want to let you know i did check she does have a butthole and i was like good Wait, news this was yeah, huge news. news. good news this is, i didn't even think about that being was this something like two days how long after she was born did you guys figure this out 36 uh well i seen her butt right whenever <laughs> i was changing her thing to uh, whenever she would pee, a lot of wet diapers. We're talking every single time we went in to feed her, wet diaper, wet diaper, wet diaper, wet diaper, wet diaper. No mud, though. So, mm, like, yeah. us not really understanding parenting, obviously we were a little bit flustered as well. Like, in there, because there was two check marks. It's like wet diaper here, dirty diaper here. Mm -hmm. And we just had check, 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 check. No dirty diaper for a full day. It's like, it's right? She's got poop at some point, but she wasn't agitated she wasn't irritated and her stomach was still soft you know so in my head i'm like baby would tell us if something yeah, was going absolutely. on natural human and our baby she would be very loud mm -hmm. about it if she did not <laughs> that whole thing so 36 hours in doctor comes and is like we are a bit concerned about her not pooping yet we want to let you know she does have a butthole and everything like that. i'm like Congrats. okay so i looked at her i'm like <laughs> Okay. No time. You. So then I started thinking. I'm like, I didn't even think about her having a butthole. Then that adds a whole nother list of like, <laughs> okay, now I got to worry she has a butthole. I, I, yeah. I just learned she has a, a butt. And then I started thinking about all the piping. Oh, yeah. Isn't there like 20 feet yeah. of piping inside yeah, of a uh, human to get to the butthole? I'm like, is that all that? Or what are we? So then she destroyed a, a, a diaper. Mm -hmm. Destroyed oh, one. Yeah. We're talking about two days worth of yeah. coming out of there. And I, I celebrated big time. Like, here we go. I was doing like a poop dance. Should. Almost. I was like super excited. And then you pull that thing back and it's like, okay, now I have no idea what to do. Oh, like, yeah, what, what, tar. what are we supposed to do? Yeah. It wipe was, it on up. Get a bunch of wet wipes and just wipe that sucker up. Front to back, AJ. Don't be an asshole. Okay. Right. Don't be a meathead man and not understand mm -hmm. that. You know what I mean? And they, Diapers are fine. When diapers are your own kid, it's fine. If people want, if you're trying to change other, other oh, kids' yeah, diapers, no, like family members, no, no, that's. No. That's tough, but yeah, like your own kids, I think it's nothing. How about it's Nurse Appreciation Week? Shout out to all the nurses. Shout out. Shout out. Shout out. The nurses that were at the hospital that we were at, thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you all so, so much. They helped. We actually stayed another night just because we wanted to like continue to like ask questions mm -hmm. to the nurses, yeah. learn some more from the nurses, and also like at night, hey, can you... Yeah. Three hours, you yep. want to go. Yeah. The nurses just take it. Mm -hmm. So shout out to all the nurses out there, including the ones that we dealt with. We are very, very thankful. The things they were doing in there, that is not a desirable gig. I, I don't, I, I, every every nurse I talk to, they're like, you get called to do this. This isn't something that you like, whatever. Shout out to the nurses. Happy nurse appreciation. Yeah. Shout out to my wife kicking ass. And shout out to my little baby girl who... First pediatrician appointment this morning, completely healthy, right down the road. Got lucky to stop by. Ian, I see you on your phone. Are we breaking any news? Because the only news that's coming no. out is what? Basketball news. Yep. Ishbia uh, said don't suspend him. Yeah. Right. Antonio Brown. Uh, Foreign yeah, national. Yeah, yeah. Foreign national. Foreign national. Right. I loved in that report they said mother and father both Americans. <laughs> yeah. but Both like well-known American. Like. I didn't know that. Did you know his dad was an arena league star? No. No, I just nope. I thought he just well, played. I knew that he liked that, that team or didn't buy that team. It wasn't paying players. Yeah, he kicked them all out of the hotel, right? Yeah, yeah but that was Antonio L. L. Uh, Express Trust Fund. True. It was not Antonio so, Brown. Hey. Not to be a total, like, Mark party pooper or whatever. Pooper. That's what we were just talking about. Theme. But at what point do we like, and, like, this is all, like, entertaining whatever, but, like, at what point are we, like, Antonio Brown just go away like whoa crap she i'm just saying like he hasn't played in a couple of years you know what i mean he's not going anywhere where do you want him to he's go he's not going anywhere this is aj's yeah, where's he going this is aj's teammates fault 
He was a completely normal human being before Vontez Perfect took his head off. It's amazing how many people ask me about that. By a the lot way. of people point to that time. Well, the foreign national says that it was uh, James Harrison. Yeah, that's right. It's a good point. He did. So, mm-hmm. As you were talking to him. I think so. he was confused, though. Well, which, <laughs> what's that? I thought he paid everybody. I thought I saw a tweet where he paid everyone. He did tweet, yeah, paid in full, and it's him signing something. I don't know if we can say, oh, okay, he paid everyone because of that tweet. <laughs> I think my favorite part of it is him saying, I don't know if I was the owner, you know? Yeah. It, but he was walking yeah. on the field. In that yep. suit. And the security said, get out of here. And he said, I'm the owner of a team. <laughs> <laughs> and that was like the whole. So I, I enjoy love, that. I think he's awesome. I enjoy that, yeah. yeah. How about it? Yeah. I mean, Antonio Good Brown bad. has certainly made some Just mistakes. Andrew Luck's going to be a commander. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Jim Irsay said, was- hey, hold that Brother, anybody that's doing so. any luck talk needs to do some fuck off. <laughs> I love everything about Jim Mercy saying, is that right? Is that what they're doing? Because oh. I've come on this program and I've been like, yeah, two teams called me to come punt and kick for him. And Jim Mercy's like, brother, they're not allowed to do that. Andrew Luck, a little bit different. Yeah. Andrew Luck, if he's coming back playing football, he's playing for the Colts. Are they the only team that reach out to Andrew Luck? Or how does that even go? They have to reach out to his agent, you think? And then they can just act like they never did it? Or how does the tampering process work behind the scenes? Because I assume it's happening all the time. Yeah. Right. And, well, I don't know about that. But, like, first of all, his agent. What are you talking now, about? Uh, Andrew Luck's agent. Is combine no literally just became tampering. Period. Yeah. Like, your tampering right. happens all the time, does it not? Right. Tom and Brady I think just usually, happens. Usually just people are sort of, like, on the same page about this. You know, like, where, like, teams can sort of, like, not tamper because they would never do that. But say to an agent, like, hey. Well, the Miami Dolphins actually did tamper. They, they offered did. ownership to a quarterback in their division. Yeah. Lost the first round pick 30, this year. 31, yeah. 31 first rounders yeah. this year. And yeah. you're telling me with Lamar, not one guy with Lamar was like, hey, just think about this. Uh, you could th- come play here. They were allowed. Oh. Okay. Lamar was allowed because he was not under contract and he basically had permission to get. I cut you off, though, because you were saying that never happens because you work for the NFL. You have to uh, say that. Nice. It does happen. It actually literally yep. just happened with the greatest player of all time mm-hmm. just a few weeks ago. Hey, back to your point. Right. Andrew Luck's agent. Yes, he's yes. Uh, Andrew Luck's agent, who I don't think is an agent anymore, but basically, like, the one thing about that Ursay said, which either is not accurate or I didn't know, was that he said you can't reach out to someone close to Luck. Because I sort of thought you could, but maybe not. Oh, you're smarter than Ursa. Why don't you drive that, down to his house? Yeah, he should. I was going to tell him. He's sort got new hair, so be careful. He does have what? to die. Yes. Oh. What do you mean he has new hair? He's it's a character fresh. in a movie. Yeah. yeah. Just a new haircut. It looks okay. sweet. Connor it's unbelievable. He, he took flaming Hot Cheetos and rubbed it all over his head. And there's a chance he did. That was the inspo. I don't know if he Hand actually down. took Hand the Cheetos. Connor he looks great as a ginger, though. I will say that. Unbelievable. Hell yeah. Shout out Andy. It is It is. What is tampering? In all seriousness. Good call. Good question. Ian? Like Ian, what is okay? Let's say someone's on a ski lift. You, you're a skier. Let's say you're riding a ski lift somewhere sure. in some fancy place, and you see a big, tall giant that looks like Andrew Luck. What well, was the golf course? What just a week, a year ago? Oh yeah, two, two years ago. Passing in the night, just two yeah. ships. Yeah. Aaron, yeah, yeah, yeah. Elway. Elway was out there. Yeah. Aaron and Elway on the same oh, golf course. That was a big story. Yeah, mm-hmm. we actually had somebody. Re- yeah. oh, AJ, you remember somebody actually reached out to us. I'm not gonna say who it was from what team or what representative, and said, hey. Can't be. Do not mention this, please. Cannot be talking like they want on a meeting uh, there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, can't be doing that because I guess that would be tampering. But well, golf course, oh, big place. I'm sure, well, I know it, who called you. But well, ahead. now you just said that too. Uh, Mc, McVay and Stafford in Cabo. Yeah, they're on vacation uh-huh. together. They were, y- yeah, in the same exact area, yeah. and then tampering. Stafford casually goes. Shout out Conan. Yep. Right. Shout out Conan. Shout out Jay Glazer. Cannonballed into. Shout out Andrew Whitworth who yep. got. Yep. Jay Glazer to go because he didn't want to go because he yeah. just broke up with his now Beyond. wife. Mm-hmm. Shout, oh. out they Shout out Drew Brees. I don't know. Shout out Strahan. Shout out Strahan. Uh, Shout out Fox yeah. NFL Sunday. What's, yeah. what's going on? No, I say, are they Terry married? Bradshaw. Yeah, that, I mean, Shout out Terry Bradshaw. Yeah. If there was ever going Jimmy to be Johnson. a thing with Tim, like I assume that, that would have been one. Um, Allie Long. But like I think w- what happened with the Lions and Stafford, the Lions had sort of agreed that Stafford would – be going somewhere. So the fact that it was facilitated and then the trade ended up being like Mike. pretty fair uh, and actually probably even more fair than we realized at the time because Jared Goff most certainly does not stink anymore. Hell yeah. Um, wow. The, no, he never stunk. stunk. N- no, but people were real down on him. Yeah. Including. He's going to make it 30 some million a yeah. year. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, yeah. He's, he has done quite that well. That was the big part of the trade is that the Lions picked up his contract. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, and he did stink year one. People forget that because he had such a yeah, good Yeah, and the Lions didn't stink. Yeah, exactly. You know, the, <laughs> the team around Yeah, I mean, the really Lions, Lions didn't stink. So. It was crazy to me. Like, I remember asking. We're golf fans, by the way. Yeah. Love yeah. him. 
The golf Cops. course? Are you kidding me? But the golf course is a place where people can tamper, just like vacation in Cabo, I guess. What is the rules? You're not allowed to talk business, but who knows if you do or not. What mm. if you say, what, Ian, what if you got off the lift and you saw Andrew like, hey, man, you think you think you, could, you look like you could still play? And he's like, yeah, I don't know. Maybe I could slang it a bit. Is that tampering? Ooh. If it was a coach or someone else, I, another team? I don't I don't think so. Because really, the, the question is, is someone going to charge you with tampering? Like, is someone going to say, like... Who can put, charge you? Another team would have to bring another it to the Another team, the or, or either the team that has him, or the team that wanted him. Okay, right? so the Patriots had to press charges on the Dolphins. Or is that the NFL? Uh, How'd they get caught? Who snitched? I'm not sure about that. Like, Ishmael came out and said, I don't want Jokic to be suspended. Yes. And Adam Silver could go, hey, we don't give a fuck what you want. Yeah. Okay, this is... Mm -hmm. Like, you don't want to press charges. Cool. This is the... NBA world yeah. here. This is not your whole thing. We're hoping it doesn't happen. I don't know if that's been – that was an awesome moment. We oh, need yeah. more of those moments mm -hmm. with owners and players. Yeah. We don't so want Ishbia any – was just holding on to the ball. Yeah. yeah. And, and then he flopped. He flopped big time. Nice right. flop. His former Beautiful. basketball Ishbia is awesome, dude. Yeah. Actually, uh, he's a weapon. Shams gave me Ishbia's number whenever we were out in Phoenix uh, for Nikki Spates' oh, yeah. uh, thing. Mm -hmm. I texted him whenever we went to the arena. He was not in town. I had not texted him since then. Yes. All I did was text him last night, dog, at like 2.30, 3 a.m. whenever I caught it. <laughs> this morning, laughing response to it or whatever. <laughs> Happy our guy's going to win is all he cared about. But to your point, though, you said like, because uh, AJ asked there, so a team would have to like press charges almost and say, hey, and, you're tampering with our guy? That they could, you know, it's a case. It's so Ursay was telling the commanders, right. just a heads up. Yeah. We will. Yeah, we're coming. Is that what he's saying? Good. If I thought it was interesting that Ursay is so protective like Andrew gave Luck. him twenty five million to not play. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's he gave him twenty five million dollars in future earnings. That is a good point. Also. To not play, so like because I think he thought he was going to come back. I think Jim thought that Andrew Luck, maybe a year, uh -huh. maybe two, get he healthy. Gave him the money. To good faith. Hey, you know what I mean. So now that he's here and other teams are calling, like, bro, whoa, 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 parts. Yeah, <laughs> right. Just like just a little heads yeah. up to everybody. So it would have to be Jim being pissed. Yes. So like for Tom Brady with the Dolphins, that had to be Bill. And craft, craft, craft being oh. pissed, or the league itself being Bounce like on. catching wind of it and being like, Can't you know, happen, this cannot happen. Well, and like craft, yeah, they could be pissed and bill for sure, but at least they had that success. Like for luck and Ursay, oh, well. basically, when luck stopped playing, though, no, but when luck stopped, stopped Why playing, you gotta bring that up. That well, because yeah, well. what happened with the team after luck stopped playing, like if you were to add, and we have talked about this before, that Jacoby Brissett year, that Philip Rivers year, right. that first year of Carson Wentz, if you were to sub. Andrew fucking Luck oh into those God. teams with that offensive line, with that running back, with some of the weapons they had, probably add one or two because people will most yeah, likely want to play, play with, with Andrew Luck. Luck. Yeah. You could make the argument like, hey, the Colts definitely could have gone to a Super Bowl, definitely some conference title games. Man, at least two we were promised. Well, yeah, that's yeah. what I'm saying. He, he yeah, Jim's like, you guys are judging me on a much different time. We had a once exactly. in a generational brother. <laughs> yeah. We had strong? two generations covered. We had Peyton, then we had Luck. Our team has not been good since AJ. I mean, it is, it has been tough to do. But like, if Andrew is still playing with the Colts, it's worth saying, um, Colts are in this AFC conversation. Oh yeah. No yeah. matter what the team looks like around them, AJ. Andrew was so good. Andrew was so good. Did you play I, against I had him? So much respect. Yeah, I did. And I love like. What a big, goofy bastard in a great way. Like, just such a big meathead. He's a great mixture of, like, a meathead, tough guy, but also super weirdly smart. Yes. And you knew, like, it felt like he was three steps ahead of you. He really did. Yeah, he was like a rain man type when it came to the brain. Like, he was so, so, so smart. Loved football so much. Respected football so much. Refused to take care of himself on the field. Mm -hmm. Like, hey, don't take those hits. That's not football. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. We need you not to die. Oh, was this uh, this was the uh, Chuck Strong game? AJ. Wow. Was this the uh, Chuck Strong it? game? Yeah, I think it was actually, yeah. You guys had a lead at halftime. We came out second half. I think Gerard Powers got a pick at like first drive in the third quarter. Then Reggie got a touchdown, I think. Reggie took game ball down to Chuck's hospital. I, I didn't know you were playing for the Packers still at that time. Big time game in the history of old I was Indianapolis there. Colts. Wait, I was there. I remember. Everybody was there, I think. No, I, think I actually was there. No, I think like media. What is that? Mm -hmm. It was Big a deal. huge game. Oh, because it was Chuck's That's first right. game. Right. And I remember seeing Ursay with a football head into a limo or something like that. And they were like, don't tweet about this. Don't. Because they wanted to, like. Really? You yeah, know. but he literally just got done in the locker room saying, 
I'm taking this ball. <laughs> right, but we didn't know that. <laughs> oh, okay. So they were like, let him do it so Chuck doesn't find out, like, on Twitter. On the internet, yeah. That was a cool time there. That was a really cool time. Probably a crazy time for you guys. Chuck's first year as a head coach. So this staff was brand new. Bruce yeah. Arians becomes head coach, right? Was his first year? First year, yeah, 212. Jeez. That's how he says it, 212. Who was here in 212? That's how Chuck always said it. <laughs> 212, 212, because we're 32 out of 32. Bruce Arians was the interim head coach or whatever, and uh, that was my first time getting to meet Bruce Arians. Always been a fan of Bruce Arians because he was with the Steelers, yeah. so I'd known of him, but that was my first time watching him. All those coaches brand new to the facility. All those coaches brand new. And Chuck, we had an early bye week, like maybe week five, week, week six, I forget what it was. His wife, Tina, forced him to go get checked out because he had bruises. He never came back until, like, Week 17 or whatever, we played the Texans, I think. We get a win going to the playoffs. End up going to the AFC Championship. Mm. Is that the fight? I think so. Uh, mm. 2012? No, we lost no, because, to Baltimore. Because, Baltimore. Because yeah. Bruce Arians didn't. Yeah, he got he, sick. Yeah, he didn't coach yeah. the Baltimore game. Play, call yeah. Day of game, he goes in the hospital. That was the That's Baltimore right. Super Bowl because that was Ray Lewis's last year and they beat New England in New England mm -hmm. to go. No, that was your – Yes. Yeah, because Chuck was in Baltimore the year before. Yes. Didn't get the Super Bowl Bingo. because he was with the Indianapolis Colts. Uh -huh. Dig his life save, though, because we had a bye week. So, a yeah. little bit of one of these. Yeah, what would you trade? But it was interesting, AJ, because, you know, some of those coaches thought they had a little bit more power than they probably did, right? When mm -hmm. uh, when the head guy's away, uh -huh. you know. Nice, will play. How'd it go? How'd it go? For me, in the coach that I had to deal with? Yeah. I was great. I don't know how he was, but I uh, I certainly had some interactions with people about how they were acting. You know what I mean? There was some of that. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, it was good. But yeah? that was an interesting time. Yeah, there were some people that were starting to really start feel themselves, thought they had more power than they did. Because Bruce was the head coach, but he's the offense coordinator. So he's dealing with the offense. Mm -hmm. And I don't think he had oh, okay. the full power of being – the head coach. Who's right. the defensive coordinator? I can't even remember. Greg Minuski, I believe, at that time. Dog. Fucking beast. Love. We're talking handlebar mustache. Yeah. Yeah. He's a football lifer. Yeah. I think he's probably still somewhere right now. Mm -hmm. He is. He's like a linebacker's coach or something. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He would coach yeah. like, he would coach probably USFL, which is terrible. Oh, so yeah. bad. Oh, oh, oh my, my God. God. It is so bad. Can't even watch it. He would coach is it US on? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Four, four yeah. networks. Yeah, Las Vegas. The Broncos got a big win yesterday. yesterday. He's the man. Greg Minuski's the fucking man. But yeah, there was a little, it was an interesting dynamic. For sure on how it all worked out. But Chuck ended up living. So that's good news. That's great news. You mm -hmm. were there. And AJ made a big time tackle against Andrew Luck. Yeah. Love that. Uh, AJ, when time. when you tackled Luck, did he do the thing where he congratulated you. you on oh, you? Oh, 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 nice. Oh, 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 tackling oh, you so well. Oh, oh, and when you tackled him, did you say, fuck your coach? We want to win? Uh -huh. <laughs> I did not. But I was, honestly, all I remember oh. from him is after every play, him saying something to everybody. Like the whole, hey, good job. Like, like he was always talking to people. And it was never like going... It was never bad. It was always real respectful. It was really fun. Let's pull that photo back up. Were you getting blocked by Dwayne Allen? He was a fucking beast. Oh, that's huge. He was huge. Yes. Like. He, monster. he was an extension of the left tackle uh -huh. whenever they put him out. Yep. He was drafted in the same draft class as Luck and Kobe Fleener. Mm. Kobe Fleener was tight end for Andrew Luck out of Stanford. Mm -hmm. So I think Dwayne kind of felt a little certain way. So I don't know if he just took out his anger blocking or whatever. He was a fucking monster. He put him on a punt team, too. Jeez. Never been on a punt team before in his life. Did not deserve to be on the punt team. He was on there trying his best. I love that, man. Uh, just like I love all you guys. We're going to get home. Go take mm -hmm. care of this baby a little bit. Mm -hmm. Thank you all for welcoming me back here in the, the studio. Uh, Ian, thank you for traveling out here and for making that desk and that microphone look bigger than it's ever been. Mm -hmm. I appreciate you. Hey, Amen. <laughs> this that was is coming. kind of a... It's kind of a mess a little bit. Yeah. No. Yeah, it's problematic. Well, you added your computer. Not a mess. Well, I mean, how many, first of all, how many screens do we need? Second of all, it's like papers all over. Well, they all do it. This well, is phones. Your own, you that's, your own fucking computer. This is phones. Perfect that's music. This was, uh, this was a TV that was over mini there. Mini belts. This mask. Uh, that's, a, mini. That's, a title. that's a title. Okay. Yeah. Belts hold up your fucking pants. That is a championship. Okay. okay? You haven't earned one. Neither is that guy. Mm -mm. Nope. Right? He could, though. I know to call it. I know not to call it a belt, though, right? Hell is it yeah. not a belt? It's a championship. No, it's a championship. World title. All right. You get killed for things. Learn about it. See, this you is why I'm here, to learn new things. Yeah, it's a title. Um, I would like to give an update, though, for people. Yes. Okay. Um, a lot of massive news coming out of this particular operation. Hey. Probably in, like, the next 10 days. Wow. All right. Hey. So the clock is on. Text me. So up. 
<laughs> yeah, maybe actually. Hey, actually, actually, maybe. You know what? Maybe. Throw uh, you a bone. So up to something season, it was decided whenever we were in um, Hawaii for the post Super Bowl vacation that I wanted to have everything done before the baby got here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Baby came two weeks early, so you know. Not your fault. Close, <laughs> yeah. I guess. But yeah, up to something season has wrapped. Um, hey, whoa! There will be an announcement coming That's very soon, news. and it's the biggest. This is this is this is big. Okay, okay. it is very large. I th I think some would call it historic. Whoa! Excited, excited to hear what. It I don't want to get too many. It's not tone. You know. Okay. <laughs> well, <laughs> I, you know. I haven't seen you. Like Everybody five. in here knows. Listen, except for that guy. I haven't yeah. seen you. Five you guys days, all know things. Because I just day. asked them, and they all said they didn't know. Yeah, that's because you're a rat. That's your actual yeah, job. We're yeah. fucking, we are a mm. tight hot. Yeah. No yeah. keys in here, pal. Uh -uh. Yep. And the reason why is because uh, the reason why all this has happened is because of how good the boys are. So if they uh, would have told you, that would go against everything that they are and that we are, and it would be a reason why we wouldn't be able to do what we're about to announce that we're doing. What? Uh, just know that we are very thankful for everybody, and uh, yeah, it's going to probably be in books someday, if I had to guess. Probably. And very, very fortunate, happy, lucky, thankful, grateful, and uh, yeah, it should be in like the next 10 days or so. Oh, yeah. Okay. Holy shit. Yeah. Nice. Ian, I, I, a lot of conversations with a lot of people for this particular up to something season. Mm -hmm. Wow. Like, a lot of people. I mean, there's a lot of big time humans uh -huh. that I was having conversations with mm -hmm. that I could have never expected to be having conversations with. And everybody was so kind, so nice, thankful for everybody at all places that I talked to. But we found the right direction for us, and it's going to be pretty large, I think. You know what the funny thing is? Is they probably were like, oh man, just talking to Pat McAfee, that was pretty cool. Like, can yeah, you guys believe that? I, I, you know, I don't know Definitely if Definitely a possible, not for 100%, sure. but it's possible. But you got to remember, sure. though, like, 20%. So I'm representing myself and all this stuff. So the conversations are business and also, you know, like that's a fine, that's a little bit of a balance. You, now that now that Lamar has signed his contract, you should have him on here and you could talk about representing yourself at the sweet. different pit and have like a real like man to man he, conversation. Yeah, he he just negotiated a big boy. Yeah, uh, I am. Um, He's still releasing that on Lamar I eight 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 five four. Seven seven five. Yeah. Wow. Lamar Jackson Lamar. Entertainment. I seven seven five. Yes. You're a pig. Jesus. You, you, totally don't embarrass the program. Close. 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 All right. Anyways, I appreciate you all so much. I'm gonna get back to the baby and to the bride. We just got done feeding her. Hopefully, she won't be as fussy and pissed off. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it should be a great afternoon. I'm thankful to be living, just in general. Hell yeah. yeah. Let's go. Awesome. Amen. Nice. Yeah. We all should. Yep. Hell yeah. I think a baby kind of puts that all in perspective. So, all right. For sure. I'm uh, I'm going to stop pissing off the mother of my daughter. And uh, <laughs> She is very calmly waiting, but I can see that uh, the foot will start stomping at some point. I love you. at some point. I love you all. Goodbye. 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 Yeah. Pat McAfee, ladies and gentlemen. Hell yeah. Woo. If I say it, bye, baby. Still got the ears in, in case he wants to hear it. Bye, baby. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. Bye, baby. Pat's going to keep his ears in so he can hear us on the ride home. Mm -hmm. That's cool. You oh, should break yeah. that news oh, you were going to break feel. now, then, so you can hear it still. <laughs> should actually do Wait, it. With the tampering thing, was what AJ was when AJ was trying to get Bakhtiari and Devonte to the Jets this weekend. Is that tampering? <laughs> good question. It actually is a good question. Is he a is Ooh. he a, an, a a friend a source is close to Aaron Rodgers? Yes, I probably, definitely right? consider. Right? Yeah, yeah. Probably. That'd be a big pull, wouldn't it? If you got Devonte Adams and old Takatari over there to the Jets, you mean if, if I oh. got. Because you'd be the one doing it. So, like, if I got Bakhtiari yeah. and, and the one thing I was surprised about with the Randall Cobb thing, I mean, obviously, I, I think we all knew Randall Cobb was going to the Jets, but like, they got a lot of weapons. That's what I would do. So, they got I, a lot are of they paid him to be a coach or is he going to actually play on the field? I mean, he's only making two million. Is it what they tell him? Something like that. Randall um, Cobb will catch 18 balls this year and 15 of them will be on third downs for just, first exactly. downs. Exactly. Yeah. That's right. And like 10 snaps a game. Here's the other thing. Like, if this. They also have a young receiver room, and he is a very veteran guy yeah. who. I, everyone's pointing at. Sorry, I. Not you were just about to say something, but everyone's pointing at Corey Davis getting traded or released. It's kind I of would the, say it's. That's one that I've sort of. And at, at one point, I thought. I mean, there was a couple times I thought he would he would go. And at one point, I thought maybe Packers. Yeah, yeah. trade, yeah. You know, sort of. Big included contract. It, it was a lot and I know there was discussion about like. Was like Elijah Moore going to be in the trade? The was, was Corey Davis? What's that? Was he? Was he? Was he part? Elijah Moore was part of the trade. Yeah, no. he got traded to the Browns for the oh, second yeah, that's round. Right. I forgot about it. But I thought he was going to get traded, and then that was like a big discussion of like, 
no players. Because I, I think what the Jets did not want was trading a bunch of players to the Packers and they all become awesome. And, yeah. and it's like their trade looks worse. It's like picks and then whatever it is, it is. Um, but I think really good teams have had – have done a great job of getting a veteran, a like good person who could teach. AJ, you know this as well as anyone. Teach everything in the room. You know, there's like the big room, and then there's the small rooms. And if you get a veteran who can teach in the small room, that is helpful. Mm-hmm. It's huge. Well, yeah, especially they can explain the offense. All there's, if anyone goes like any kind of game plan, anytime you're installing an offense or defense, if you're a player that cares about it, like you're gonna have five thousand questions every single day about how you're playing this, how you're playing that. And a guy like Randall, yeah, he can help those guys. Not only show them on the field what to do, but also explain it afterwards. And, hey, like, this is why we do it like this. Uh, all right. Yeah. Let us table the football discussion. Okay. okay. And bring Uh-oh. on one of my good friends. Really? Oh. Noted basketball insider yeah. for multiple places. Outlets. Including Stadium. Yeah, of course. The Good. Athletic. Wide. Run It Back Show. Wide. Wide. Other things. Waking up with K. Yep. Lunch. <laughs> that's the name, sure. that's, that's, that's the name yep. of the show. Oatmeal yeah. with forks. Yeah. Lunch with Shams. <laughs> Is that not the name anyway, of the K show? Come on in, Shams. Where are you? Yeah. yeah. Let's go. Yay. Ian. Ian, what's up? what's up? AJ, what's up? The boys, what's up? I feel like I'm pulling an AJ right now. Uh, I, feel, I feel like I'm pulling an Ian and AJ. AJ comes on from anywhere. Ian, you come on from the car. So I feel like I'm you right now. So I. You know, I wanted to be you when I grew up, so. Hell you yeah. are Living too nice and lying. Um, you look awesome. The hair is on point. Uh-huh. Um, are you, uh, where, are you going to a game? What is, what is happening in your world? I assume you're not driving. Um, this is car service, right, going on here? Yeah, yeah, yeah thankfully I'm not the one driving. I, I, I quit driving a long time ago, but no, I'm, I'm going to the studios. We have our studios uh, here in Chicago, so, for stadium. So, just, you know, m- m- making my appearance in the studio, basically, is what I'm doing. All right, so I as this might surprise you. Um, I'm not a basketball expert. What? I know. What are you talking about? I know. I did go to a Knicks game a couple years ago. That was great. Okay. Um, which was really cool. And one of my buddies is a uh, one of my buddy's brothers is a college scouting director for the Knicks. Nice. Slow down. Which is cool. Yeah. So it's basically like I'm a basketball. That's a good expert. source. Ian. I was about to say, Sam just found a source. It yeah. would be a good. I actually need to introduce. I I do not think he will be a good source. I'm sure he will be a terrible source. Ask him why he drafted Obi Toppin. Um, but he seems awesome. Oh. Um, there was an issue last night with a technical foul. Big time. And your boy Ishbia seemed to be in the middle of it. For those of us who maybe aren't exactly well read in basketball, is everyone getting suspended? What's happening? Yeah, I mean, this playoffs has been interesting because Draymond Green got suspended for a play that the league even uh, throughout a day. Like, Ian, you go through it when, when guys, when there are incidents that happen in football, it's like the league is going through their own investigation. They're going through their own process. And throughout the day when Draymond Green got suspended, the league was leaning toward not suspending him. Then ultimately, Adam Silver rules, yes, we are going to give him a one-game suspension. So Draymond Green serves that in that King series. And then now, Nikola Jokic gets in the, into this incident where he didn't go into the stands. If he went into the stands, definitely would have been grounds for one-game suspension. Probably if he hits a normal fan, it's, it's it might be grounds for suspension. But mm-hmm. here you have a case where Matt Ishbia has the ball in his hands. Um, he looks like he was letting go of the ball or was going to let go of the ball the moment he saw Nikola Jokic. And the ball kind of got sprung loose. Madisfield was still in the vicinity. And Nikola Jokic gives him a little, you know, brush. Um, I, I, well, I don't think – clearly Matt Ishbia today, you know, right there you got uh, – Pat secured. Yeah, he is a dog. He got right in the mix. Wow. And shout out Matt Ishbia. He played at MSU. He was a walk-on at MSU. Yeah. So I don't know if this is his – you know, flop tech. I don't know what it is. It's a flop. flop is it a I block? mean, I was about to ask, he's like, was that to take, soccer style? He, like, basketball he, style. He's it, trying to take a block smart. or a charge, right? So only only the refs know how they wanted to call it. Clearly, they, they might have been in favor of Ishbia because they gave Nikola Jokic a technical. I think that's where they leave it at. But today they're going to review the play. And Matt Ishbia came out with a tweet that he hopes that there is no suspension for Nikola Jokic. He wants the focus to only be on the Suns, the Nuggets, and for him, he wants to focus to be on Kevin Durant, Devin Booker, who have been absolutely amazing this entire playoffs. Yeah, I mean, uh, the it seems that adding Kevin Durant to the mix mm-hmm. might help a team. They seem oh, yeah. seem to be in a good spot. Uh, Boston Connors got a question for you. 
Yeah, Shams, good to see you. Uh, <laughs> you know, if you want to get your joke in now, uh, feel free. <laughs> Yo, I don't want to take any. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Not even, uh, uh, either way, it doesn't matter. You're still on AT and T, and we know that's a terrible <laughs> network waiting. compared no. to Verizon. But uh, now that the Celtics Sixers game or series rather is tied, similar with the Suns Nuggets, I wanted to ask you about what Doc Rivers said uh, in his post game press conference. There was a pretty clear, as a Celtics fan, I can even admit it. There was a pretty clear, you know push off a little bit on Jason Tatum. He ended up hitting a step back three. Would have been probably the biggest discussion today, aside from the Jokic and uh, whatever, Ishbia, Ishbia, you know, whole entire technical situation. Is there a massive chance that one of these games is going to come down to a call like that and we're going to have to talk about the referees in the NBA? Uh, or do you think that because how the series is, both sides of them, uh, that they're just going to let the boys play here and see who's the better team in these last three games? I would say they would let them play, but even down the stretch of that game, and I think Doc Rivers spoke to this too, there were a couple of chippy fouls called, one on P.J. Tucker where he was literally brushing on Marcus Smart. Marcus yep. Smart was making a, making a cut down the lane, and it was, it was a ticky-tack foul for sure. Um, and, then they, and then they let it go on Jason Tatum. And I think Tyrese Maxey, I said it today on running back, I think Tyrese Maxey could have definitely sold that, and if he probably did it, you know, flailed his arms maybe Twail. like Matt Ishbia, you know, yeah. Matt Ishbia, <laughs> MSU. Uh, that's probably what Tom Izzo was teaching back oh, in the day. But wow. they were teaching I think, a lot at that school. I, 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 yeah. think, <laughs> I think I think Tyrese Maxey could have sold that, and they probably would have gotten an offensive foul. For sure. He didn't. He stood firm. Jason Tatum set three. I, I do think overall they're going to let these two teams uh, duke it out and figure it out on the court. But every you, you know how it goes, Boston Connor. All these games are going to be determined by late, last second calls, yep. technical fouls, free throws, and even even the Lakers Warriors game. Uh, the other night, um, I mean, game three, that was decided by free throws in some extent. Steve Kerr said the the officiating didn't decide the game. The Lakers shot 37 free throws, and the Warriors at one point had only shot seven or eight, and it was yep. deep into the, you know, it was in the fourth quarter. So, um, free throw discrepancy, officiating, that's all part of the game for sure. Shams, Ty Smith, got a question for you? Yeah, Shams, uh, speaking of Lakers, Warriors, um, after game three, LeBron, you know, he said that basically, you know, that game didn't matter. He was a winner no matter what because Bronny signed with USC, <laughs> and that was just a nice little cherry on top. Um, are we? Are all signs pointing to Bronny going to USC for a year? And because I know a lot of people have said, "Hey, LeBron might not be with the Lakers. He wants to go somewhere else where he can play with his son." Are we? Are we basically staring down the barrel of Bronny going to USC for a year, getting picked in potentially the maybe the first round or probably the second round of the draft, and him playing with LeBron within like the next two years? Well, if, if the Lakers can can have a pick, you know, in in that first round in range to draft Bronny James, I mean, that is clearly what. LeBron James wants to do. He's he said even the other night he's serious about wow. playing with with Bronny uh, in in the NBA. So I think right now there's no question. LeBron James he's been saying it for the last couple of years. He wants to play with Bronny James at the next level. It would be the a father son uh, you know duo on the next level. He wants to do that. Um, I I think the Lakers are in position. You know they they look like they're in a great place. They have you know some some pick flexibility in the next couple of years to be able to draft a guy like Bronny James for sure. Wait, so just – it seems to me that LeBron is kind of in like a Tom Brady situation. Like I'm sort of waiting for him to retire. It doesn't – do you get the sense he's close to retiring at all? I I don't I, – I don't, Ian. I don't think we're year to year like you have been in the last, you know, several years with, with Tom Brady. Mm -hmm. I, I really think LeBron James, the way he's playing now at 38, he's probably got three, four years left at this at this level. And, you know, even a guy like that, like Kobe, he, he wasn't his peak self his last couple of years. I mean, we're seeing – LeBron's not at his peak right now, but he's pretty close to, you know, what we've seen from him year after year after year. So I, I do think that we're not at that point where it's year to year with LeBron quite yet. Tone Diggs has a question for you. Yeah, Shams, I don't think we've talked about this yet. Um, Ian, I think he didn't – I asked him earlier. He said he wasn't mad. But hmm. uh, did you get any blowback from uh, tweeting out the NFL draft picks? <laughs> honestly uh i i i got a little bit of like i saw a little blowback um you know I, and i did text ian before i did number one i got number two and <laughs> i got a little I, I i got a little thirsty i got a little desperate the blowback i got was with the third pick yeah said, botch will pick. anderson you know you know and, and i wouldn't say bots who went number three ian who went number th yeah I'm, who went number will, three overall will anderson did go three and who owned the pick <laughs> 
Sorry. Who owned the pick? Well, now, again, it got traded. Formerly, formerly the Cardinals. They yeah. did own the pick. So I, I will say that I, I think I could have done a better job at following through. That's why Ian gets paid the big, 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 big bucks. I get paid <laughs> the big bucks. You know, so there's a difference here. But, um, no, I mean, you know, the, the one big difference, Ian, with the NFL and the NBA is the in the NBA, we don't – like players don't get to switch their hats and their jerseys when they go up on stage and, and shake hands with the commissioner. They usually find out even after their press conference. So I remember one year, Mikhail Bridges, he got traded from oh, the yeah. Sixers what? to the Suns. He got traded from the Sixers to the Suns. He had a Sixers cap on. He does a six. He does a press conference with Sixers jersey next to him, Sixers hat. Mm-hmm. But like 30 minutes prior to that, I had already reported that he got traded from the Sixers <sighs> to the Suns. But it got announced, you know, so there's that little discrepancy between the NBA and the NFL. I guess that gives me a little bit of an out. But next year, I'm just letting you know, Ian, I'm just sharpening my toolbox. Oh, my gosh. My smart. Toolbox. Matt's having insider's <laughs> fight. Uh, no, I, we actually may. Uh, AJ's got a question for you. What's up, AJ? Shams, uh, the Warriors play the Lakers tonight. And I know you mentioned a little bit before you came on the show, I believe last week, something about Steph Curry kind of rallied the troops, had a little speech before, uh, what, game two, I believe, maybe. Um do the Warriors like each other? Do they get along? Like, what's the what's the chemistry like in there? Yeah, that, that was actually before Game Seven. So literally, their season, their dynasty, everything is flashing before them. Steph Curry, who never, you know, rarely ever speaks, definitely doesn't address the team like that. It's it's like once every couple of years where he will where he will actually address a team, which is kind of interesting for a guy that's you know he's the face of the franchise, cornerstone. Um, but yeah, he told the team like, if you don't want to show up, you don't want to put your feelings to the side. Um, don't show up, stay at home, don't come on the bus. And so obviously everyone showed up, everyone everyone came on the bus, and they really? played really well. Maybe he needed to give the same speech, I think, before this game. This is a big game for tonight. Huge. Um, I, I, would, I would expect the Warriors to make adjustments tonight. Steph Curry kind of hinted at that yesterday. I do think there are some adjustments coming. You know, I don't want to hint too much Ooh, hint, on this hint, show, hint, but hint, I, 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 Ooh, I, I, I would away. expect that tonight. Oh. Steve Kerr like, is, is, is the man when it comes to making – adjustments whether it's lineups tweaks and oh rotation. there it so, is you just gave it away chums we'll, we'll, <laughs> who is it we'll see what happens i, I didn't give anything jordan we'll pool starting tonight jordan oh, pool starting oh, tonight baby. Chum just said it. we'll see <laughs> we'll see what you, happens Chums. tonight but I, I do think overall this year uh aj winning cures everything and i think if this team can win tonight i think everything is going to be good if this team struggles there's going to be moments that are tense i think like there's with every team but even you know, especially with this team, you have a group of veterans and you have a group of really young players. And it doesn't matter what sport you cover. Anytime you have that dynamic where you have a bunch of young guys looking at ascending and you have an older crop of veteran players, there's going to be some level um, of a dynamic on a day-to-day basis. Chom's last question for you, um, then we'll get you out of here to go do your actual job. Uh, the The season is long. The offseason is wild. I I actually love the basketball offseason maybe oh, yeah. more than the actual regular season. For you, for the job that we have what is the playoffs like for you is it intense because there's not a lot of things but what's going on is important or like how where does this kind of fit into your insider calendar yeah i mean the playoffs are fun because i can actually focus on you know or focus a little bit more on what i really love is the game right right like we have to love the game to love the sport you know the, the sport that we cover so i love basketball so i love watching these games high intensity this is why you um, you know, why you become an NBA fan, a basketball fan. So first and foremost, it gives me a great opportunity to refresh and refocus on really watching the games on a day-to-day basis because you're not tracking trades. You're not tracking free agency signings um, at this point in the season. So right now for me, I, I just get to dive right into the games and honestly report and cover a little bit more on games. Like fans are so enthusiastic about, you know, what's the rotation, who's starting, who's out, who's injured. So the news and, and what fans are focused on just shifts just a little bit. Uh, all right. I said last thing. I maybe lied. Uh, Ty Schmidt has one quick thing for you. Yeah, Shams, we talked about this last week after you were on. Uh, are we? What's the deal here? Are we planning to fight fire with fire when Dylan Brooks' agent fucking called you out mm. and said you were a scumbag, hashtag weirdo? <laughs> Have you responded to that? Do we need to, you know, get, um, get feet to the pavement and I get can't believe you this asked guy? Got your back, Shams. Yeah, I got your back, too, Shams. Got your back, Shams. We got your Let's back. Go. So you're not a hashtag so weirdo. Ian's, Ian's, Ian's a vet. 
Ian, how, how, how would you answer, do you want to answer this one for me? How, how would how would you answer this one if you're me? Uh, I'll, I'd love to, and then I'll give you my answer. I'll tell, I'll yeah, tell you. Mo Gaeta was like Ian Rappaport's an absolute. I stand 100 percent by it, but I want I want to see what Ian's response would be. You should stand by in it. this situation. It was right. 145 million percent. Of course, it was right. Um, what I would say if we're talking talk about this for real is I would text the agent or call the agent and be like, that wasn't cool. Um, you know that was the truth. So if you want to call me and talk about it and figure this out, my line is open. Let's do that. Otherwise, like, don't put out these weird statements that are like, what? Like, just call me. Talk about it like a human. We'll figure this out. If I was wrong, which I'm not, then I'll say something. But otherwise, like, let's deal with this instead of kind of like through the media. Because basically, if he's upset that you did it through the media, he literally did it the same exact way. You know what I mean? Hmm. What what one hundred one hundred percent and yeah so I'm I'm gonna stand by it I think you know there's a way to handle different things and um, you know I I guess I'm a weirdo so no you're not Sean no. no, 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 we're, we're all kind of weird we're all, yeah, all, weird. Yeah, all kind of weird yeah. if you're a weirdo he's a no, hashtag scumbag Boom. hashtag scumbag let's go all right Shams thank you go do your job we are going to uh, well we'll talk about you after you leave so bye thank you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well said, Ian. Every once in a while, when when I say goodbye, I'm like, maybe I'll just try to listen in and see if they Ooh, see something. Questions, That's smart. <laughs> uh, but question then Zito kind of just cancels me off the FaceTime, and I'm like, oh, what did? And now since there's no way for me to hear what you guys were saying, I think I know the answer to this question, but I'm going to ask it anyways. Hmm. Are, is the insider world a FaceTime world or a just standard phone call world? I am not a great FaceTime guy. Probably what's that? <laughs> that would make no, actually I, the those texts don't disappear. That was uh, that was that's a lie. Asked a, com- a certain comedian who didn't know that either. No, that's Snapchat, and they're no they don't sig- disappear. They're signal encrypted. disappears, right? Yeah, Isn't the, signal the one that disappears. Well, uh, WhatsApp's whole thing is that they're encrypted. That seems fake. I mean, I don't know Are how we, it like, works. Who, I'm just telling any, any like encryption can get beat. Oh, it's encrypted, so I can do whatever I want. Like bingo. You know that's why the Chinese yep. government's using it. Boom. Oh, <laughs> makes no sense. Ever heard of communism? <laughs> I have heard of communism. Because it sponsors WhatsApp. <laughs> <laughs> but also Snapchat, right? Well, it's part of and TikTok. And TikTok. TikTok. Oh, TikTok. I'm sorry. Oh, don't get me started on TikTok. I don't know anything. These are not official statements. It's not on my phone, God damn it. I, I'm, I, I am on Signal um, for a couple group chats for people who need to be on Signal, not me. And then I'll see people because it'll say, like, which of your contact? Are you any of you guys on Signal? No, no. I've never even heard of it actually until me either. right now. Oh, so this is okay. a deep, so it's it, a deep the, heart secret the, messaging. The uh, the text messages vanish after like eighteen hours or twenty four hours, whatever. You can set it, but so I'm on it just because the people I'm in group chat with like need to be on it, yeah, like owners, uh, well, whoever it is, government and, officials or what. And yeah. then Wexy, uh, there's mm-hmm. one, just there's yeah, the, the, those jobs like that. Columbia grads. Um, and then Ooh. I see people on because they say like so and so and your contact or is on signal. And I'm like, what's this person doing on there? What's this person doing? Like, why do they got to be? Yeah, uh-huh. it's like a shady world yeah. that I've entered into. Have you <laughs> ever had to deal with what Sean is dealing with? Of some agent, like not Mulligata, but like a some random dude's oh, yeah. agent saying Ian Rappaport's a hashtag weirdo. Not hashtag weirdo because I feel like that's already accepted. Like no one would call me a weirdo because everyone would be like, "Yeah, we know." Yeah, sure. If they call me short, it's like good one, guys. Yeah, yeah. Way um, up. I have had to deal with this a lot. And what, what happens in my world is not agents, because agents in the NFL world really don't speak out. Like, mm. even for good stuff, like Drew Rosenhaus does it, but only, like, on behalf of his clients as sort of, like, statements to explain. He would never, like, I don't think he would call out someone by name. and Like, that does not happen in the NFL. Yeah. But what does happen is, like, let's say you go on Sunday mornings, you say, like, you know, this coach could be fired. And then the coach or the GM or the owner will on post game be like, this guy doesn't know what he's talking about. When I said like Jerry Jones, when I said that Dak Prescott was looking at the franchise tag, was going to be franchise tag the first time. No, second time Jerry Jones went on radio and was like, he doesn't know what he's talking about, which obviously he did get franchise, whatever, but like um, it happens. And you know, Jerry Jones, I'm not going to call up and say like, Hey, let's talk about it. But the only way to deal with it is to call the person and be like, you want to yell at me? Yell at me. Yeah. Let's go. Like, I will. And I become, like, so numb to this that, like, if someone will call me up and scream at me, like, I'm fine. 
Well, it, talk to me. Like, they don't just, care about you though. They they want their they're looking out for their client. That they don't want those under any circumstances being known to the public, right? Isn't that what they're trying to do? Yeah, and I think what what you probably know and could speak to this AJ is like there's a lot of times when coaches or owners or GMs or whatever will respond to the media in a way that's maybe not complimentary to the media, but like they're speaking to their team, like they are speaking yeah. to the locker room, you know. Through the media, yeah. Coaches do it all the time, yeah. Especially post-game pressers, like, they – yeah. that's just, I think coaches even mention that to their teams. Like, they've – will tell you, like, yeah, you better – if your coach is speaking in front of a microphone, you should probably listen if you're on that team. Absolutely. Um, all right. Let's take a small break. Okay. Is that cool? Yeah. yeah. You guys yeah. need a break? Super yeah. fresh. By Let's the way, you were doing the whole entire thing. You had the That Business Baby mug the whole time. The mug that you were drinking from just says, That's Business Baby. Oh, yeah. That was just perfect yeah. branding. For Spot that. on. There you go. I did that on purpose. Yeah, it's genius. Yep. You know, usually I drink out of the Yeti mugs. Drinking out of a regular mug feels feel? old school. We got in there. Low what are you class. drinking? Low, Low class. Wiggy. Wow. Just coffee. Just, just coffee. All right, go away. Come back. <laughs> what, what am I we we, come we on say back. take five. There you go. Take five. AJ take five. says. AJ says, come on back. Come on back. We'll see you guys in a little bit. Uh, there we come go. on Bye. back. He's saying, don't go off the top, it's too shallow. See that belt buckle? All you're going to hear this stadium do is they put the big paw up, they start shaking it, and they go, whoa. Yeah, he loves the defensive side of the ball. He said yesterday to me that this is a blue-collar team. They win it on special teams. They have five block kicks this season. The defensive side of the ball, Lynch leads the Big 12 in sacks. But also on the offensive side, Denzel Mims is an absolute animal. He is a weapon. Charlie Brewer, the quarterback from Lake Travis, his dad was a quarterback in Texas. Yeah. His grandpa was a quarterback in Texas. And the people here in Waco just so happened to get a chance to see Charlie Brewer on a daily basis. Oh, hey, 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 oh, hey, up. hey, hey. Waco! Yeah, Boomer Coming here up. is going to mean a little bit different than what it means on the internet currently. And hopefully here in Baylor, they hope they do not hearing a lot of Boomer sooner. Everybody wants to be a punter, including quarterbacks. If I was a quarterback, I'd want to be a punter as well. Zero yards on that punt. Zero. That's an embarrassing situation. Zero. The Dak dance that gets on national television has led to a lot uh, of losses, but you got to uh, respect the hips being able uh, to uh, go. am I going to make for college game day? Well, I want to make something creative. I want to make something fun. No, to hell with it. I don't like OU. <laughs> <laughs> it's so thick. Look how thick that thing is. That's years and years of patience. Right, right now? Okay, let's do it. And we job. are out here on the Brazos River, which you can take a boat to the game. One of the only stadiums in the country that you can do that. It's beautiful out here. A lot of people would say, this is the last time I'm going to be on game day. The last time I allegedly did what I'm about to do, I ended up in a jail cell. Let's go! <laughs> Red yeah. Panda, it yes. is time to go on up. 
to the unicycle yes. that has captivated people all over this planet Earth. Oh, my yes. God. Ladies oh, and God. gentlemen, Red Panda is in the Thunderdome. Oh, my God. Let's go. Hi, Red Panda. Thank I'm, you so much. I'm hyperventilating, Pat. I think I'm going to have a fucking heart attack. Mad Mel, could you tell me about the scouting report on Red wow. Panda? Oh Absolutely explosive. You will never see someone with this kind of stability and balance in all your life. Been an absolute game changer for the last 30 plus years. Brings her A game every single time she comes on the court or multi purpose field. And, to oh, and look at her go. Completion to Red Panda. He's in the trenches. He's got his eyes on the prize. The okay. ball is going on the head okay. of Red Panda. Two oh, balls go, completed from AQ Shipley. <laughs> this is nuts. Are you serious? This is AQ a can hold more than two points. Two balls. No way. I absolutely love this song. Oh, my God. There we go, Red Panda. Oh. One for one. Oh. Oh. Two. If Red Panda goes perfect on a day, we'll give away $50,000. Whoa. It's one person who retweets this video and says something nice to somebody. <laughs> Red Panda, the legend, wow. performing during the first round at the Thunderdome. She's one for one on both tosses from her right foot to her head. Come on. Oh, my God. No way. Oh, my God. Two? No. Red Panda two? stacking Slide. two bowls on top of each other. And oh, oh, she, did she did it! She did it! She's batting and pitching a perfect game. There's no way this should be humanly possible. Nope. No. But what is impossible? It's I'm possible. Yes. Whoa. And whenever you're talking about Red Panda, you're talking about the biggest I'm in the history of I'm possible. Yes. What Hell she yeah. does every single night is not supposed to happen. Uh -uh. There's no way you're supposed to be able to accomplish this. No feat. way. No. AJ Hawk, what you say? How many people can do this? None. Just Red Panda. Five bowls. <laughs> ah! Red Panda oh. take a bow. Hell yeah. Wow. That was awesome. Hey, it was. When we talk about situational football and awareness here in overtime with the Buffalo Bills and the biggest play that was made here, the, before this play even starts here, there's a lot of conversation happening on the back end. What are you telling folks here? They tried to hide this formation, what I was talking about. It came out in a three-by-one bunch, but they end up motioning back over to a two-by-two. Two. And one of their main concepts down here in the red zone is a laser Dino, which is a double post concept to try to clear out that safety to uh, to make that void in uh, mm -hmm. in between the numbers and the hashes. Obviously, I knew that. I saw 85. He's he's pretty much the clear out guy. And with me, me having great vision on the quarterback and the receiver, it gave me, it gave me an opportunity to make a play on the ball. Nah, that's it. Okay. We win. At what yeah. moment did you say, "Oh shit, we won"? I'm gonna get down. Is that, is <laughs> soon, that... soon, as, soon as he threw it. <laughs> <laughs> Second and ten. Allen steps up and throws an interception. Patrick Peterson. And in this heavyweight bout, the Vikings with the knockout blow. The Vikings win the game of the year. The guy that didn't even stop after just deboing your head coach, well, get him the fuck out of the building. I mean, unless he just hates McVay, which we need to maybe look into a little bit more. I'm sure he wouldn't not know that that happened. Maybe he was trying to get as far away from it as possible. But whenever he didn't stop, I thought to myself, whoa, are the Rams? What the hell's going on? What's going on with the Rams? Oh, dead. That's the head coach who just got blown up and nobody even stopped to see if he was okay. Aside from a couple coaches, the guy that hit him just keeps on fucking jogging on the field. Not even a, oh my God. Yeah, like, coach. I'm so sorry. Not even one of those guys. He couldn't have known. He couldn't have known it was a head coach. If that happens on the field, they're pulling Sean into the blue tent. Hey, are you sure you're okay? Yeah. I mean, you didn't fall. You didn't drop the ball. You just got hit right on the button that we're talking about. Sean McVay eats it, spits it out, puts the headset back on. Thought his commentating career was in jeopardy. Sure. He's That's allegedly true. been offered 15 to $20 million to go into the booth, which I think we're going to see a lot sooner then later yeah. with how this whole Rams thing is going. Bounces back, calls the rest of the game. Now they lose, they are not good, but he's a tough son of a bitch. I think we all need to start recognizing that a little bit more about McVay. Can you imagine how fucking sore he is today? He's eating out of a straw for the next week.
there's fear around what does it mean if I'm not 100% and I don't play my absolute best? Can I live with that reality? And I think many people can't. Rodgers has been playing through pain a lot here. We've seen him throughout his career play through pain, but now two things, the thumb and the ribs. For me, I can because I know what competitive greatness is. It's going out there and trying to do your best all the time and putting your body on the line. If you're 90%, 80%, 70% gives your team the best chance to win, then you're out there and you're playing. Aaron's going to suck it up. You know what he's going to do. This is their seasons on the line yes. and also being able to look in the mirror i mean that's honestly the only person you have to really appease whose opinion you gotta live up to is that person staring right back at you that's why i've always wanted to play and that's why i've never wanted to come out of games because i'm going to look in the mirror and know that i did everything i could to be out there with my guys put my body on the line willingly that's the nature of being a fierce competitor and striving for competitive greatness is that it's not really a question i don't need somebody to tell me yeah, maybe, yeah, maybe another week you'll be 100%. Maybe just wait one more week. No, no, no. Felt like I was in a fucking movie right there, dude. Hey, why? Let's go. This show fucking stinks. And the fact that you listen, we are very, very thankful for it. AJ, you never cease to amaze me with your toxicity, pal. You got a couple of these? God damn it! <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? Welcome back to the Thunderdome. Welcome back to the third hour of the Pat McAfee show, which basically means that we've made it three hours. The Insider! <laughs> do you hear the beat drop? Do, do you see? Do you, do you, you see what we're doing? We went through on. this last time. I do not hear it. I also don't hear song lyrics. So even some of my favorite songs, I don't even know all the lyrics to, even though I've been singing them wrongly for 30 years. Well, it's like the Rocket Man commercial they used to do about around Ellen John. Yep. Where everyone sings a different line yeah. of that song because no one knows exactly what it, he is saying. That sounds about right. Like the burning up. Because I, I don't fucking know what he's saying either, but yeah. it's. Burning up, da, 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 Burning up his views up there alone. Yeah, but everyone sings it differently. I'd have to get the cassette tape, <laughs> put it in, record it, write it down. Bingo. Or Google it on your phone. Or Google it. That's what I always I do, do appreciate the Apple Music thing where you can just read the lyrics now. Mm -hmm. That yep. would, did not exist when we no, were young. No, it didn't. Yeah, they have it on Spotify, too. It's pretty sweet. It's like a teleprompter for the lyrics, yeah. <laughs> Bingo. That's As like what we all have uh, in the camera for what, what we're supposed to say. Yeah, you didn't yep. know that until you were You know, here. some shows do that. A lot of well, shows do that. Our show does that. That's why we almost had to go. Like strike, opinion our, shows are right. Yeah, not like opinion shows, right? Yeah, Sorry. Right. No, 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 but no, like, okay. especially if you have like a. Not everyone is like our good friend Shams who can just answer any question without even. Like, some guests need a heads up. Oh, Ian's going off script right now. Oh, oh. Jesus. Oh. Pause the, pause the I mean, prompter. Pause the prompter. Like, By the way. I know some people definitely want to know what you're going to ask him beforehand. Are you saying that more like, hey, send me like what questions? No, you're some ask people me? are like, send me like on some shows, like I need the words. Well, we have a writer and thankfully he didn't hmm. go on the strike. I'm not fucking going on strike too. Mitt yeah, writes bro. all of yeah. our Mitt writes all of our stuff. Mitt yeah. Mitt yeah, Mitt, 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 there it is. There's Mitt our right lead oh, right yeah, there. Mitt. We see you, Mitt. Thank you, Mitt. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Why did he have a mullet? Why does he have a mullet? Because he's busy writing. Oh, slow down, down, rap. It looks no. like a sweet. There he is. That's a. Which might? It's like the reverse V. I didn't see the back look of it. What is he doing? Yeah, let's just. Yeah, yeah. Dude, I have a mohawk, like he's a, bro. He looks like. Oh! <laughs> no, you don't. Do you have a mullet? <laughs> no, not I a mullet. have mullet. seen a mullet. That is a mullet. That's not a You've mullet. You've never right? seen a mullet in your entire life. If you think that this is a mullet. Let's keep going with this. I like this. It's Fashion long in the back is a mullet. Actually, to be short. completely fair, mine really isn't a mullet anymore because the top of my head is so long. Here's kind of a Here's skull it. It's, it's just kind of turned into long it's kind of hair. Long hair. Yeah. 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 Bingo. Stop Sick it. flow. Hell yeah. But, all right. I feel like you're <laughs> at the zoo watching the apes. <laughs> I think that's. <laughs> I think that's about right. Yeah. Um. Are we getting? What time is Darius Beller coming? I think right now. Right now. Right now is he waiting for us? Listening to an uh, hopefully conversation? not because that was a terrible two minutes. We're all calling right. him now. Calling him now? Yep. Perfect. Hopefully he'll answer. Uh, Darius Beller, who has uh, spent a fun weekend hanging out in Miami and watching F1, which I think is his favorite sport. He loves it. I think that it is, actually. It. I, yeah, I, he'll come in here before the show, and he's he's watching time yeah. trials and stuff. Jay Leno. Seriously? Him and Leno are best friends now, yeah. Yeah, I, 
I mean, did you guys see Bezos this weekend? He is properly jocked. Yeah, yeah, he's so Let's jocked. Not, let, let, no one cares about the race no. this weekend. You don't want to no talk one. about the race? Uh, no, about Tom the... Cruise stole the show. Yeah. Okay. He was in the pit. He basically ran, you know, comms for someone's car. <laughs> Maybe been for Mercedes, I believe. Is he Mercedes, working on an, uh, another racing movie? Is he going to be Cold Brad Trickle Pitt is, again? right? I mean, no. look, no. Rapshi, you better tread carefully, my friend. Uh, yeah. Yeah, you better. Don't just that say a another movie. Anything Tom Cruise does is the greatest thing on the planet. Turns to gold. I mean, I watched the new Top Gun, and that was wild. Yeah, it was. Did you see him accept his MTV, MTV award? Did you see how did he you? did it, Ian? Because I bet no. even D-Butt would want to see on. this. Hold let's, on. Let's bring in Darius Butler. Attaboy, D-Butt! Let's go! Let's go. Yo, yo, yo. What's Woo. up, fellas? What's happening? How was the weekend? Ian, Ian, can you hit one of the fucking intro? I mean, come on. You booed <laughs> oh, up over you, here. Dude. What's going on over thank here? You, not only that. Not only can I not hit it, but I've actually focused on it twice and have been caught completely off guard when they do it. And the first hour was damn near perfect it and you didn't even know that accident. it was happening. Right. Yeah. Some people, you know, it's like when, you know, you're roaming some sort of defensive backfield and you're watching a quarterback and you're like, this guy can't uh -huh. read at all. Mm -hmm. Like he's, and that's that, true. And that is me. D but did we you see full, Tom, did you see bank. Tom Cruise in the pits changing tires? Did you, did you touch him? I did. I did. I felt his aura, AJ. I felt his aura. He was in there. He was locked in. Had the gloves on. Had the headset on. Uh, it was a lot of hoot. Mercedes, their garage is usually the most packed, most star-studded. But Tom Cruise is in there. But it's actually Brad Pitt that's doing the uh, F1 movie. Brad Pitt, Correct. Damson Idris, um, and they're actually on the. They're actually really driving the F1 car. They literally built the car. It's the same directors from Top yeah. Gun Maverick. Uh, the cameras yeah, are going to be insane. It'll be, yeah, yep, him and uh, Brock mm -hmm. Heimer, the producer. So, it, it, I mean, it's, it's going to be fucking dope. Mm -hmm. Wow. Hell yeah. Did you got to you get yourself a cameo. Did you see that screenshot of Tom Cruise there? Rap, that's exactly no, what I missed it. Is it? That's how he accepted, <laughs> that's how he accepted his MTV. You can see it in the back seat. Yeah, 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 this is a video. <laughs> Oh my he god. Did, he did, uh, what's the, what's the, jo Joseph Kornacki, that's the director's name? Kaczynski. Like Kaz yeah, Kaczynski, my bad. So, he said Tom Cruise immediately reached out to him. When he told him he was doing a Formula One movie and told him he'd do all the stunt driving yes. uh, for Brad Pitt if <laughs> yeah. he needed to. He, he, he said he'd keep him on speed dial, so I'd be looking forward to it. Yeah, he can do all this. He's actually flying this plane. I mean, him, Oh, of him course, Jimmy yeah. Graham. Fucking kidding me? Well, I mean, Jimmy Graham's Fucking not dog. even in the same conversation. Yeah. I mean, look how he flies this this jet. I mean, He's an ace pilot. I don't, yeah. I, I, Did AJ ever explain why he said fuck it to the... Uh, <laughs> I saw Jimmy Jimmy Graham was doing it. Everybody else was doing it. What, oh, yeah. what is this, AJ? Yeah, tell me. It's not, honestly, from? I don't know. I started doing it years ago, and then so I just stopped, and then everyone else is doing it. So that's basically what it is. For no reason, I was trying to mess up a picture <laughs> 10 years ago, and it became a thing. So uh, that's how so it you is. were the cool I kid. I respect it. No, I'm still. It like a good time out there. Yeah, they were just trying to push like me too much to do it. So I was like, nah, it's got to be organic, guys. So also, who's gotcha. Alan? Uh, AJ, the crew and Alan. So Alan's not Alan in the crew. Bizarre. Yeah. Bizarre. So he's not in the crew though. No, he just went in this picture right here. If you see, uh, or no, uh, he is in the picture. No, I guess because Alan was a he was the first rookie. That's why he like he was the it was his first year ever coming. Oh, so this is a hazing uh, situation. Wow. He didn't okay. get jumped in. He didn't get jumped in. Oh, is that why he has his? He's doing like Spider Man. Yeah, I don't know. Alan, <laughs> yeah, he has his he palms was up. Time spending time. He's a great dude. Oh, uh, so Alan didn't get it yet. He, he so he next okay. year. Next year he'll be on. Nobody. Mm -hmm. That Nobody makes did. sense. Well, D Bud, no. how was the weekend though? How how did it how did it measure up compared to last year? And what kind of access did you get? That's what I want to know. Are you like oh. you get to touch cars? You're walking in the Jay paddock. Leno. Yeah, sparring Sorry. with Jay Leno. Yep. Jay, Jay Leno was <laughs> he was fucking awesome. Jay Leno was cool. Uh, 70 year old, 73, I think, still kicking, still doing it. Uh, but the whole weekend was, was, was fucking dope. I was like a kid in the candy store. Had some great access. Shout out to Alpha Romeo, pretty much, um, hosting me for the weekend, but they gave me access to the garage. Couldn't take any pictures or videos in there. Everything's, you know, kind of top secret, but I you like get to that. see the engine, the cars, the drivers. Um, it was better than last year. You know, they built, um, they put all the team kind of, uh, their headquarters inside. Shout out, Jay. Shout out. Go, Jay. Dress it had, God, like, that's a inside. handsome man. He's sharp. He's sharp. Jay's sharp. They had it uh, all inside of the Hard Rock Stadium. 
Uh, but the paddock, I was fortunate enough to be up in the paddock club to speak about access uh, rap sheet. I was in the paddock with, you know, a lot of a lot of schmoozing up there. But it was dope, man. I actually got to meet the Andretti, uh, their crew, Andretti and Gamebridge, and they're out there. They're based in Indy, but they're trying to get into F1. They're trying to put a bid in. Cadillac would be kind of their, their motor partner. They got a lot of money behind them. But it was a super, uh, super dope weekend. Obviously, a bunch of, you know, celebrities were out there, but the fans uh, were electric. The race was cool. Max Verstappen, shocker, shocker, he won again. But it was a dope weekend, though, for uh, F1 and uh, definitely down here in Miami. Well, hold on a sec. But there's, so there's 20, 20 cars, 10 teams, right? Would there be 22 or would they bounce someone if Cadillac got in? It would be 22. It would be an 11th team on the grid, which um, wow. will start in the 10 weeks or nine weeks now. That's when that they'll start recording that movie. So in the movie, they're actually going to be a car on the grid throughout the race week. Brad and Damson are actually going to be driving the cars as well. So that'll be dope. But yeah, it'll be two more drivers yeah. on the grid, one more team. So right now it's 10 teams. Each team has two drivers. S very similar uh, machinery as far as the cars. Sometimes they'll change the setup or whatnot. But um Red Bull. Well, you see me in the sim right there. I got to – this made me for sure have to invest in one of these uh, sims. This was uh, pretty fun right here. You get kid it. next to me, he was on that thing for probably like an hour straight, just <laughs> crashing, driving with no hands. It was fucking awesome, though. What was your fastest lap there? I forgot. I think that, that might have been – that was in Miami. So I did Miami and Brazil. Uh, I forget the lap times. So I'm going to say one, low 130s. You said you, you felt know? you said you felt Tom or TC's aura. Was there anyone yeah. that, that you actually saw that was you were surprised was that F1 and not the Derby? And that's, you know, I don't like that they do that both weekends, the it. same weekend, because then, you know, all the star studded event, they got to pick one of the two. D5. It's bullshit. You know, a lot of, so Mahomes, I feel like he was everywhere. Mahomes, he was both. at Met Gala, he was at the Derby, and he ended up at the race as well. So saw Mahomes there. Uh, a lot of football guys. Obviously, the, the bunch of the Dolphins guys. Saw Prescott and uh, Dak and C.D. Lamb. Uh, my favorite, the favorite person I saw, though, is DJ Khaled. Khaled, oh, you know, yeah. Miami homegrown. No. So Khaled, is fat. he was it spent a little, very little bit of time with him, but Khaled was electric. Got to try Jimmy Butler, Hemi Butler's coffee, big face Ooh. coffee. Um, they had a, a stand down there, so it was dope. But uh, you saw everybody. I mean, the, the Williams sisters, Serena and Venus, uh, Jackie Stewart, old throwback race, race driver. Yeah. Um, literally everybody. You know Miami, they tried to invite you know as many celebrities out as possible. It was, a, it was a pretty, pretty dope event. It was hot. It was hot as hell down there, so if you didn't have shade, that was tough. You, but um, you, great event. Do you know if uh, Antonio L. Ala Express franchises was there by any chance? So, who's that? Sometimes goes by Antonio. So, that sounds, sounds like a foreign national. Yeah. <laughs> oh, exactly. he nails not, it. Not, not, not sure who that person is. <laughs> I, I can't confirm or deny if that person was in uh, attendance. Oh, Did you have one of those Wagyu subs that were like 50 bucks and it turned out just to be a ham and cheese? <laughs> <laughs> they had, Hey, the, the prices, I mean, I, they, they got it. I know it is the pinnacle of motorsports and it's a bougie and it's a lot of gatekeeping. That shit's ridiculous. In Miami, they're going to do it, obviously, up to the nines. The Vegas race will probably be even worse. But uh, the pricing on everything was pretty ridiculous. But uh, Can't, I had to I mean, hook up they on gouge you enough on the tickets. Like, the food has to be 1000 bucks. I mean, some of Every, the, the prices were absurd. Yeah, like, I saw something with, like, three, yeah, $350. Like, I don't know. How is this even real? I mean, it does say serve four people, so I guess it breaks down sure. a little better. But, I mean, that is fucking but, ridiculous. Is there... Is there like an infield like the Kentucky Derby? There's an infield where like college kids go get hammered and run on top of porta potties. So I guess are the other races. But <laughs> is there anything like that where just people can go that don't have a billion is there dollars? A lot of boozing. Is there a lot of boozing? Mm, no. You know what? It's very pay to play with, with F1. Uh, but once you do pay, the access is is better than probably any other sport. Like literally, drivers are you know walking right by you. Um, pe people don't bother them for the most part. They do have like the pit, the grid walk, pit walk. Where it's a lot, you have to be kind of like damn near A list celebrity to get on there, like right before the race. Literally, that's when they're taking the tire covers off and, and drivers are actually in their car. Kind of like, uh, me but you have the, the pit lane the wall. Race. Mm -hmm. What's that? Kind of like me walking on the track at Churchill Downs before the race. Kind of like that. that. You know, I did Indy 500. You know, you kiss the brick and you do that thing. I think that that was pretty cool. So it's, it's somewhat similar to that. But um, once again, you got to pay to play. Uh, especially down here in uh, in Miami. Did you see? Uh, did you see Elon? Was Elon wandering around the same area you were? 
Missed Elon. I, I saw he was there Saturday. He might have been there for qualifying. I don't know if he stayed around for the race. Did not see Elon. Damn it. Did not see Bezos. Uh, no, I didn't see those Ooh, guys. Like, Missed those guys, unfortunately. Wait, can you can you like set the scene as far like so, like where is everyone? Like, is is there like a a big room? Is there just like a lot of different like where are the like celebrities like yourself kind of that, that, <laughs> hanging so, out? So <laughs> it's so it's a big track. So the track is a little over three and a half miles, right? So you can be at the event and clearly, obviously, not see anybody. So you're really spread out. It's I think 19 turns at this track. So the grandstands are at the turn. I was in the paddock club. So the paddock club is basically, um, so if you're looking at the race, you, you know what, where everyone does their pit stops. Mm -hmm. So right above their garages are all the paddocks. So it's, I think, three levels of paddocks. And a lot of big companies will buy these suites, and then they'll invite their different guests, and they'll invite people there. So uh, fortunately, that's where I was. That's where the race starts, and obviously where it ends as well. Um, so that's where you see you see the action going into turn one and then coming out of the last turn uh, going into the checkered flag. But uh, so people are all over. though. I mean, you had different poolside suites. You got the fake yachts. With, I mean, real yachts with fake water where people bought. So you got a bunch of different uh, setups that you can watch the race. But um, it was it was a pretty, pretty dope event overall. I, mean, I got to get you guys out to at least one yeah. somewhere. D, but I saw somewhere. I saw Sir Lewis Hamilton. Uh, walking in in a sweet, sweet outfit. Do all the drivers wear fits in? Is like there a red carpet when the drivers show up, or was that just for Sir Lewis Hamilton? You know, Sir Lewis, he goes, he 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 pushes the envelope. He's fast. I know he was hot as fuck in that shit he had on because it was <laughs> ninety plus degrees. He had full purple sequence head to toe. I don't know how he did that. The day before, he was just some hot shit too. But um, now nah, so the drivers typically they obviously they go all around the world. So when they go into the different places, like Austin, for instance, a bunch of them had like cowboy hats and boots yeah. and shit like nice that. Place. And, you know, like, yeah, a lot of guys had like short sets on with a lot of the, you know, Miami palm tree type uh, print. So they kind of lean into it, especially in America. America, you know, we do all the extra shit. We had LL Cool J do the driver intros. Hell yeah. The drivers are on the grid for extra 25 minutes, just sweating their asses okay. off. Uh, but you know they got to do they got to do the, the most when you bring it over here to the states. Oh, but yeah, yeah, look, I mean this this like what are we doing here? Yeah, DJ look, Khaled driving? Is he driving in a car with Brad Pitt in that movie, or what's he doing there? Uh, sidecar, I think they're putting him in a sidecar, oh, giving him the so dog goggles. I thought he was a Jerry Bruckheimer, a man. crew chief. I can't. Nah, no, I, I doubt Khaled would be in that movie. It's, it's gonna be a dope one though. Well, he he should be. Uh, you <laughs> did mention something though, Verstappen, and you know I would. You're saying we should get to a race, maybe, but is Verstappen that, just that the guy? That maybe sounds like Connor's like not going to well, Yeah, well, I need, yeah, well, I need, I need a little. I would go. I need sure. some differences here. I'll, every single weekend, it's another big F1 race. Who's going to win? And then Verstappen yeah. wins. I mean, it, yeah. Uh, well, what's the deal here? Do we have any parity in this? God I, I mean, you know, sometimes you just got shit figured out. You got a great driver. You got a great machinery. You know, we had a, a hockey team this year that just had everything, you know, all clicking on all cylinders throughout the regular season. Nice. Greatest regular season ever. Sometimes You're talking you about F1, like okay, asshole? Oh, 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 Stick oh, oh, to oh, racing. Sorry. So it is hard this year. When they got shit figured out, they just completely a, a, a couple steps ahead of the field right now. You got some upgrades coming in a few weeks for the other cars. But as of right now, it looks like it's going to be. But this is a good thing about it, though. So Red Bull does have, they do have a rocket ship of a car, but you got two drivers. So it's kind of like a one-two race every weekend. So Checo Perez, he started out in the league. Max started out in nine this weekend and still ended up uh, beating him. But um, so you still have that battle there. And then after Red Bull, you got Aston Martin, you got Ferrari. You got Mercedes who kind of battle and keep it close. Um, so it is some entertainment. It was a lot of overtakes, no accidents, no safety cars this weekend. No fights, though. I saw NASCAR had a little post-race fight. fight. Hell that yeah. Was, uh, Great nice, yeah. nice, clean right hook. So I'd like to see that. I would like to add that to F1 a little I'm, bit. I mean, I was like, so I, I watched the, I'm a very much novice F1 fan, but I watched the Netflix series, which have you guys seen this? Drive, 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 drive. survive. It's, I have not. Drive, survive, you Mark. Should, I like it. You should watch it. It's mm -hmm fantastic okay um but those drivers don't care they will say whatever and the the mm -hmm. principles are worse or better i guess oh yeah they say whatever they want now you're right they didn't punch each other but like you obviously are a a big fan yeah, i don't know a lot of europeans you know a little right whoa whoa i'm just kind of waiting to see where that was going to go um right? was i mean i was born in europe too, so <laughs> yeah, you can do it
Yeah. Kind of like, yeah, no offense. I like to make Jewish jokes. Like, say whatever I want. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, oh, whoa. Let's relax whoa. here. Whoa. All right. I no, can't do that. Let's, let's move along. Like, let's move along here. Yeah. You guys uh, are acting like you're calling games for the Oakland A's, all right? No, let's no. just, <laughs> just oh, calm down. Oh, 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 respect. Oh, 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 respect oh, for the program. Jeez Louise, you guys. <laughs> Jeez. Like I was going to say before I rudely interrupted myself, was the now that you're like a hardcore F1 fan, yeah. like, was that what brought you in, or was it like the the engines, or like what like for these guys who clearly don't care Netflix. about the sport that you love? Whoa! Like what was I mean, it was it was. I so I caught it on ESPN. I caught one race. I honestly caught like the lead up to the race, and you see the drivers, and you see kind of the drama and the, the history of them, blah blah blah. And then I actually watched the race. And then you see the strategy and the, the principals who are pretty much coaches, but then all these other people who play these uh, important parts into, you know, the driver getting out there and performing in the car. So that engaged me. And then seeing the sponsors, the big businesses, you know, the business of sports always um, interests me as well. And then I got into the series, the Drive to Survive series that was popular a couple of years before, but I, I'd never been into motorsports. Like I was in Indy for six years. I went to one Indy 500 race. Never really watched NASCAR. I used to play the video game back in yeah. the day with, you know, Earn Hart and Jeff Gordon and those yeah, guys. Yeah. Um, but never really got into the motorsports. But all of the drama and all the shit behind it um, kind of got me that you got a peek behind the scene in the Netflix series. And then uh, once I started watching it, you know, I was kind of hooked. And it, it starts, the season starts in March. So that's like a month after football season ends. So it's kind of perfect for me looking for something to get into because basketball is not really entertaining to me until like playoff time. Um, so, you know, it, it was like the perfect the perfect match right there with uh, me and Formula One. And I'm enjoying it so far, and it's obviously pretty new in America, so it's a lot of people who are getting into it at the same time as I am, so it's, uh, it's been pretty fun. Can I see the NASCAR punch? Oh, the, it, it's we, unbelievable. Can we see nice. that? Because I, I saw a little he bit got on held back. He was trying to come back, and he got held back by the old security guy. And he said, let that, it go. That's the, that's the, isn't that the worst, AJ? <laughs> oh, I felt for the dude. I really did. But he knows right here, hey, you're in play, buddy. You can get hit. And then, uh, But, yeah, the security guy grabs his right arm. He, grab, he grabbed him first. Yeah. Once you do that, stop, you got to know stop. a swing is coming. <laughs> Boom. Smart. Clean hook. Yep. Oh, I didn't Smart even see that. by the guy in white. Hold on. So he yeah. was about to respond, and that oh, dude's yeah. like, no, 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 yeah. you don't yeah. get oh, your yeah. – and then that guy's actually saying, the dude who lands that right hook is saying, let him go, let him go, because he was about to teach him a lesson. Yeah. When, they, when he's saying let him go. You can't grab like, somebody and not expect a punch. Oh, man. Especially the way he did it, too. It's, yeah, it's, he grabbed him, yoked him up. Yeah, and he's, and he's saying, I don't want to do this. Everybody out there knows <laughs> Ross Chastain doesn't fuck around either, especially not when some guy with a bowl cut comes up and lays hands on him. Hey, I mean, what? Warning. Boom. Oof. Hey, just, that, ain't the first, that ain't the first hook he thrown. Nope. <laughs> that was clean. I mean, I was thinking about this. Like, is, I mean, there's been some really good sports fights. And football, not as much. Because anytime you see anyone swinging at a helmet, you're always like, wow, that guy's an idiot. Mm -hmm. As opposed Andre to Andre like, Johnson. Yeah. He, oh, that, he, he Johnson, did right. Corlin Finnegan. Mm -hmm. That was right? Yep. That was, that, that's really in the pantheon of all-time great sports. Fights. Absolutely. So, like, that had to be one of the best sports punches I've ever seen. Pretty good. Like, because, you, you know, you watch, like, a basketball fight. They're, like, it's like they're throwing ropes around, trying mm -hmm. to catch each other. Like, mm -hmm. sure. four, it's, like, terrible. That was actually Throw, pretty good. Baseball, terrible. actually. Uh, I forget good. who was it, but someone landed a hook on, uh, what, what is it, yep. Joey but Batista? At second base. Yeah. At yeah. second base. At second remember? base. Bingo. And oh. he, like. His helmet so popped off. It looked oh, like he almost Rugnet Odor. Second base. Rugnet Odor, that's right. Yeah. It was yeah. so clean. clean. Well, and also so clean. Uh, Pedro Martinez grabbing Don Zimmer by the mm -hmm. head and flinging his yeah. you know, life as a body. That was, that was pretty good. Well, that fat buffoon had it coming. He shouldn't have been running that Pedro Martinez <laughs> like that. He's dead. We, do, we need a compilation. Right. Best, best sports <laughs> fights. Right, PD, oh, yeah, I do remember that. Yeah. I do remember yeah, that. I mean, he la that one was I mean, landed I'd... so clean, that helmet just jacked off his head. You're right. And another Damn. one where it's like, <laughs> what a oh! picture. Not his, first, not his first punch, I would say. That's got to be in the man cave. No, I mean, look at that forearm, yeah. too. That thing did not feel good. So do you think in his house, he has, what, a poster of that? Oh, yeah. yeah. Massive. Oh, yeah. You got to add it in the man cave. What about practice? Oh, yeah. Do you guys ever get in fights in practice? Training camp, I mean, there was always going to be a, a scrum, a fight. Usually the big guys. Usually the big guys in the trenches, somebody gonna get in a fight. Uh, Not you. Two. Only got a, a little squabble with uh, Edelman. Edelman was the only teammate, oh, yeah. and it was a very quick, you know, little squabble in practice. He's a little you know, Stop, stop. Yeah, stop blocking after the play. Uh, but um, that was probably the only fight. You I've have to had run laps, D. But you have to run laps after that. I think we may have got kicked out of practice. We may have gotten it because that was you that do. was Bill's thing. 
What do you do if you get like, out? Do you shower? Or you go run in the weight room? What do just you got? Go, just sit in the locker room. Um, but I, it was like so quick. And they, I think Bill made a joke. I like what the fuck was that? Like I wasn't even like a good fight. But uh, it was a <laughs> nice. look. That's too much energy. Once it's hot outside, especially you get into the eighth, ninth period of the damn practice. Like look, it's too late. It's too hot to be out here fighting. But um, you always had that was like the beginning of the training camp. Once full pass went on, you knew it was gonna be some type of squabble. Probably like, you know, inside run or some shit like that. But uh, it, was, it was good time. Good time. Nothing too crazy. I feel like the sort of stereotype is that coaches encourage it. But I, did, I feel like, I don't know, like, did your coaches hate it? Or just kind of like, ah, whatever. They didn't. I wouldn't say they encouraged it or hated it. It, it was just a part, a part of it. You didn't want anybody swinging a helmet or throwing a punch at anybody. But, um, you know, a little... I think coaches, you know, especially like a young guy who you might not know how tough he is. Once you see a guy who you, you know, you may have some questions about, he gets into a little bit. You know, everybody kind of like, okay, okay, I, I like to see a young fella. So, uh, but I don't think it's encouraged. You don't want, you know, you want your guys out. There. And as a pros, you're taught early. You know, you take care of each other out in practice. So um, that, that goes in tackling and keeping guys up. That's something that's driven home. You know, dudes making a lot of money. You're not trying to get hurt in the fourth day of training camp because you're fighting. Um, a guy. So um, I wouldn't say it was encouraged, but it definitely not fully discouraged either. Uh, AJ, didn't like Frank Zombo beat the shit out of you at practice one day? I don't, <laughs> I don't remember. Wasn't that Frank Zombo? Frank, hey, I'm glad he brought his name up. He's a great player. I would, I never fought Frank Zombo. Luckily, he was, he was cock strong. That dude, you don't want to fight Frank. But yeah, anytime, like D Butt said, you're in the middle of training camp. It's hot. You can feel when the fights are about to happen. The hard thing is. If you get into like a big brawl, offense, defense, whatever, you're in there, and then you got to line up and you have like six plays in a row right after that, and everyone's <laughs> dead tired. And then it's like, yep. then you get into another fight because you're that tired. Everyone's so tired, you're trying to fight. And yeah, it's just, it's a mess. That's when coaches don't like it because that's when people get hurt. What did Big Mike uh, have to say about it? Yeah. Big that, Mike was that Frank me as Zombo. A guy. Yeah. Nice. Legend. Zoro. Beast. Zoro Zombo. Got a sack in the Super Bowl his rookie year. That's right. Zoro Zombo. Legend. Right, man. Legend. Absolutely. <laughs> Zombo. Uh, D but you are also besides being a noted F one expert, mm -hmm. huge F one guy. You are huge also hockey a guy too. huge hockey guy. Yeah. Oh yeah. Huge. What is going on in your hockey world right now? I mean, we are buzzing. We're buzzing. It, it, it's, it's buzzing down here in South Florida. I've never heard this many people talk about the Florida Panthers. Go Cats. Uh, right. Down here. And our heat. You know, our heat go is cats. still in it. Um, you know, go Cats. You know, time to hunt. Mm -hmm. But we are here. I mean, and it's. It's that like, you know, oh, we got overtime victories. Fucking Obviously, idiot. we had the huge overtime victory against Boston. Just had another one to go up 3-0 against the Leafs. I mean, it's, it's just a bunch Leafs. of scrappy dogs. No, no, you know? no, let them go. Leafs, Leafs, them out, Maple yeah. Leafs, whatever, Leafs. Toronto. You know what we're talking about. Everybody hates them. That team up there. 3-0, all right, 3-0. Nobody saw, nobody saw this coming. I think we are, might be a second. What are we, plus 350 right now to win it all after the Oilers? Yep. People really yeah. talk about it in Miami or South, where is it? It's in Miami. Yeah, plus I mean, yeah, you got a lot of fair weather fans down here. You know, no, you know, no, you good, don't. You're doing good. But the Panthers, honestly, they've had a solid fan base. My sister, Connor, actually years ago used to dance for the Florida Panthers. So I used oh, to go to a couple ago. games cool. here. Yeah, dance years ago. Cool. But, um, so he's been yeah, a they have forever. A dance, they have a dance team. They got entertainment down there. Trap sheet. Come on now. Not yeah. on the ice though, right? Because I feel like that yeah, would be probably. Yeah, well, they, they, they the ice dance. Yeah, they lay they lay some shit out there for them to. Some teams you don't watch dance. hockey. You guys are. You guys no, don't watch hockey. Do you know my 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 hockey experience is this? Like my the group chat of my high school Played, buddies, right? they will be like, "Hey, uh, playoff overtime," and I'm like, "Oh, cool," and I'll turn it on. Okay. Because like it is, you know, I'm not a not a hockey. I'll go when it's. In person, hockey fan or not, the playoffs, the NHL playoffs, electric. And I found it honestly a lot of times looking for basketball. Oh, she go to TNT and then you, you say, Oh, shit, I, you know, I keep this. It's hard, it's hard as hell to keep up with the puck, honestly. But once you kind of get a beat on that, uh, it's pretty, it's pretty dope. I like it. Yeah, what? NHL playoffs are, I think, one of the better, yeah, you know, like postseasons in all of sports, really. It's like NFL and. I don't throw NBA in there just because the finals and like the conference finals are so good. Like the NHL playoffs from round one yeah. to the Stanley Cup finals are unbelievable every single yeah. year. It does. Like I remember when, like of all the the things that I remember when I like we were talking before you came on here about how little I'm in locker rooms now, for better or worse. Um, one of the things I, I remember, <laughs> one of the things I remember was my first year covering the Patriots. All the veterans were like, "It's a different speed in the playoffs," and I'm like. 
okay, like sure it is. I figured that was like <laughs> coach speak, but it actually really is. And it, hockey's like that times ten. I don't know if bas- basketball seems the same. Basketball is definitely like that. This, this year has been uh, been a pretty good uh, NBA playoffs as well. But um, the stuff, yeah, hockey. You know, any you got the physical. So I think the hockey. I like the hockey. And obviously, football is the pinnacle in my opinion. Yeah, one yeah, and M- done. No M- series, just three hours. Best team walks off. NBA feels like the stars kind of – I don't know if it's everybody, but it feels like in the NBA the stars of each team, aside from Boston, kind of take it to the next level and start scoring, you know, yeah. 35, 40 points. Like last night, I think Devin Booker had 40, and uh, Jokic had 50, uh, James, yeah. James Harden had 40. Like it's it's absurd to see what happens to those guys. I kinda and then like the role players, the difference of how they play at home yeah, in a way yeah. is, is – Nuts, like it's insane. But yeah, like to your point, Wait, the stars what you for sure. And what the fuck happened to Jason Tatum yesterday? That he only scored two points in the first half and made me miss a fucking Super Boost by one point. Yeah, I'm on, dude. The, the two What's points, up with is, stars? The, the two points is ridiculous. I'm more upset that Jason Tatum's passing the ball at the end of games instead of just taking the shot. Yeah. You know, that's, yeah. loved, that's the controversy today, right? Yeah, because I'm and he's. This isn't exactly what it is, but he loves. Kobe Bryant, a lot of his moves. Actually, Pat sent me a video of a side by side of Tatum and Kobe, and they're it's the exact same move, exact same bucket. It's cool. And then uh, he's passing the ball at the end of games, and Kobe Bryant would never ever do that in a billion Point years. Four so. seconds of like, yeah, he, I don't. He know. did it in game one too. He, he yep. When he passed it up that, at the end of the game. Did it in game one and then did it twice at the end of regulation and at the end of overtime. Uh, it's absolutely ridiculous, but they're not playing tonight, D, but the Miami Heat are playing tonight. Are you pretty confident in the fact that this could be, what, the greatest eight seed in the history of the NBA playoffs with your Miami Heat? Yeah, it's crazy. Uh, why, I, Jimmy Butler, like, you talk about the playoffs, like, he is the epitome of, like, turning that shit up or not. Yeah. What, 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 what Hemi, a.k.a. Hemi Butler does in the playoffs is unbelievable. So I think we go up 3-1. Uh, and growing up, uh, being a Heat fan, the Knicks was one of those teams we especially hated more, especially down here in South Florida. A lot of, we've always had a lot of New Yorkers come down mm-hmm. here. Oh, you know, I'm a Knicks fan. I'm a Rangers. I'm a this and that. So uh, to beat the Knicks is always a little extra – extra special. So I think we go up 3-1 tonight. Um, I honestly think that series – no, I think it goes six. I think the Knicks will get one more. They got they got, they got, some, they got a good squad. Jalen Brunson's a dog. Randall's back. He's healthy. Bears pretty good. But um, I think we win that series probably in six. And that's – where is that tonight? That that one's in Miami. Mm-hmm. In Miami. Yep, in Miami. Lakers-Warriors tonight too. That'll be a good one. Mm-hmm. That'll yeah, be a good one. It's been Shams, back-to-back blowouts. Shams just teased something earlier on yeah, the show. That yep. What did he tease? I missed it. What did he say? He said that, you know, they're, they'll make their adjustments. He didn't say specifically he, what it would he be. He basically was like – he was like, well, you know, Kerr is the best at this. Like, whatever he needs to do, whether it's lineup changes or something mm-hmm. else. And then we were like, huh? And he's, oh, no, 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 I'm not saying anything, but, like, as someone who sometimes speaks this language, Uh sure, Mm -hmm. I feel like Shams. Oh, you picked it up. It was like the the radar. uh, Sure. The inside of radar, the, you know, whatever. uh, I picked it up. Seems like there'll be something, you know, Shams is on his own up to something season going on as it relates to the uh, Oh. The world, oh, okay. So. Well, it's gonna be. Hey, they they made a big move and they put Jermichael Green in the lineup after taking you know Looney, who was grabbing twenty rebounds mm-hmm. a game. Uh, but it's all about AD. If AD plays like AD, I don't think you can beat that Lakers team. If he plays like you know, because it's a lot of peaks and valleys with him, just like Tatum. But if he can consistently be him and be the best player on the floor, they're a tough, tough team to beat, especially at home. But you know, Steph Curry's on the floor as well. Clay Thompson get hot. So hopefully that game, that series goes seven. I'm taking my Warriors in seven in that one. Wow. Well, that's really good. Wow. It's hard to stay up in those late 10 o'clock games, though. Oh, my God. It's impossible. Uh, Brutable. Zero chance. I'll Very wake brutal. up. The, no way. I don't, why does basketball do that? Well, it's, they see, Why do they hate me? West Coast. You see the games are in L.A. Yes, I oh. know, but oh. why would you <laughs> just have those start earlier? Well, oh, so you want people to leave work and go to a game at 3 Nobody's o'clock Nobody's going LA. to a job anymore. Everybody, half the world works from home now. No one's going well, to the Well, you might office. be right. You this is, be right. This is the first year that they are actually doing the finals game starting at 8.30 because a lot of the times, be, both because of— As opposed to what? Uh, the the West Coast ones will start at 9. That's absurd. Yeah, it is, it is very difficult. Why do they hate kids? That's a good question. 
Hey, why don't you ask Adam cool Silver? Right. You probably have his number. You do uh, I think he is uh, grew up right near where I live, as a matter of fact. Okay. Oh, okay. oh, man. So you definitely oh, yeah, you do. do. Should definitely. You guys should take a picture standing side by side. Yeah. You go up to his kneecaps. <laughs> <laughs> he's a big son of a bitch. He is. is he really? Oh yeah, I get a oh, lot yeah. of short comments on Instagram. A lot of short Come comments. On. He's like six nine. Like is he really? weirdly very oh, yeah. tall? No. During, Adam Silver? Yeah, during the NBA draft, Did he you can, play. You can probably find a photo of it. Yeah, he definitely played. He has a wet jumper. He went to Kansas. I think he's like third all time <laughs> uh, point scorer. Yeah, yeah. with Nate. With Nate. That's my bad, Adam. Sorry, Adam. During the draft, when players come on stage and he shakes their hands, <laughs> he is not getting. I mean, it's kind of similar to Goodell. Goodell's a big son of a bitch too. He's Listed at six four, oh. silver. Yeah, silver? that's crazy. Yeah, that if he's on his it. knees. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> could you imagine what he is in you know his dress shoes? Oh my god, seven feet <laughs> easily. God, it is funny though. Like you guys are talking about the stars kind of coming to play in the playoffs. Like it really does see like that's sort of what you hope for. Like in the NFL, you know, it's like you want. You know, like the fact that we never saw the Jalen Hurts last drive in the Super Bowl. Like, yeah, it ended how it ended, it and it was awesome. But like. A small part of me was like, let's watch Jalen Hurts do, do this thing. Like I, you know, uh, and basketball takes that to like the tenth degree because it's like, you like you have to have your best player take almost all the shots because otherwise, it's like, what kind of coach are you? You put the ball in your your best player's hands and that's it. And like, they do that. And so you're right. It's like. The stars touch the ball every freaking play. Mm-hmm. Well, and that's Just why they the changed the error. That's why they changed the overtime rules, right? Because everyone was bitching during yeah. that Chiefs Bills game oh, yeah. that uh, yeah. Josh yeah. Allen never had the opportunity to to get the ball back. Yeah, and defense stinks. I mean, well, that was the defense too. You, too. you heard me, D. Yeah, that was terrible. Thirteen seconds, huge, huge meltdown. Can't have it. <laughs> Brutal. All right, D-Butt, we have taken up enough of your time. Not that you have anything else. I appreciate you guys, man. This was fun as always. See you guys later. Was it extra fun because I was here or less fun? Uh, Less fun. Yeah, that makes sense. (laughs) Thanks, D-Butt. No, I'm joking with you. Keep killing it, Rashid. Thank you, D-Butt. Yeah, (laughs) D-Butt! He was not joking, by the way. He's the best. To be honest. Him just reinventing himself as an F1 fan and a... Awesome. Hockey fan, is honestly, very, like, very knowledgeable if, about it. If you yeah. could go down, like you, like following his Twitter, all like the access he did get, like yeah, I would do that. Are you it kidding me? Sweet. Like it, it's one thing to like go fucking sit in the sun and watch the cars just speed around, yeah, no. but like if you're going in and like being able to go into the garages and bump shoulders with TC, yeah, uh, it's count me in. Yeah, I'm thinking I would. Yeah, there's right. no price on being able to dicks? bump shoulders. H- hold on, hold on, TC. So like. <clears throat> I, he's well. Tom Cruise was really there, like what? yes, yeah. yeah. He's, he might have. He and might. He's not shooting a movie. He's just hanging out there. You know, he's just hanging out. He's changing tires. He's working <laughs> in the garage. He's, he's a gearhead, have, right? He, he's a gearhead. Who knows? A new fling might have fucking been sprung down that True. Yeah, they did uh, see him and Shakira hanging out. Boom. 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 Oh, you thought we were kidding? No, Tom Cruise was <laughs> changing tires. Wait, what is he? We got Jordan Wrist. What's he doing? Oh you know, my the God. Puma. Everyone has. Oh, my bad. And he's saying, oh, it's that easy? I could I do this I got to start shit. watching this. He's such a dog. Do, do you think that all the other, like, actual oh, just grab tire changers off? are like, this Like I, this is my no, job, they, and this guy it's thinks no, it's Tom a Cruise. joke? Not, no, it's Tom Cruise. Not at he all. can do whatever you think, you think it's cool? Because no, they're, they're watching videos yes. of him saying, see you at the movies, and then fucking nosediving his airplane in, <laughs> towards the earth. <laughs> yeah, the other. Like, oh, okay, this guy can do whatever the hell he wants. Those dudes aren't saying, what the hell is Tom? Cruise doing here? They're saying, "Fuck, Tom Cruise might take my job from me. Like, yeah. I might get fired today because he's going to do this better than I ever have." Also, all these guys aren't from the U.S. They might be like, "What the fuck is Pete Mitchell doing here?" Yeah, true. Seriously. Why is Ethan? Why is Hunt Lieutenant? Here? Come on, what the hell? Possible. What is your problem, Ian? You, you like your problem with TC? You don't do you like TC? No, I do. What's your risky favorite? business was great. Okay. I was just All the right okay. moves. Have what you about, guys seen that one? Sure. Oh, Anything past yeah. 1984 you've yeah. seen? What about Jerry Maguire, huh? That one I've seen. Uh, so he's born on the 4th of idea. July. Yeah. Uh-oh. Uh, Whoa. Uh-oh. What's this? Uh-oh. What's this? Who is that? Wow. That's, Sh- that's Shakira, my Come friend. Shakira. 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 <laughs> I remember her from Super Bowl half. Yeah, she yep. performed it. It was awesome. Crushed it. So our TC she and did Shakira? That, she did that tongue thing. What? Is that what that was? There, TC and Shakira. I mean, if TC wants, yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, that's the, kind she's of the way it works. I feel bad him. if Shakira has a husband. She's, probably she used she's to, actually she going used through to. a messy divorce right now. Yeah, Gerard PK. Did we just on why? No, no, no. He plays for Barcelona. Was there a funny story about Shakira? No, he cheated like, on her like an idiot. Yeah, Gerard PK is an absolute dirtbag, allegedly. Someone ate, uh, someone ate her like blueberry 
custard out of the fridge, and she knew that <laughs> uh, PK did not like uh, blueberry custard, so she knew that somebody else was there. Yeah, yeah. That's how he got caught. Yeah. I oh, believe man. it was blueberry custard. I don't think yeah. it was blueberry Spot custard. Bad luck, I guess. But it was something along those lines. Just I, c- I can't tell foolish. if you're joking. Something's in the fridge. Is no, that right? real. Something's yeah. in the fridge. Yeah, it's yes. legit. That, yeah, and he didn't like it. Something was eaten so out of the fridge knew. that he was like allergic to, and he was like, she was like, oh, chiquita, chiquita. Some floozy was over here eating my purple fudge. Yeah, bingo. I, That's exactly what it was. Like if if you came home and your grilled chicken and rice was gone, yeah, you'd be like, you'd know. who the fuck? <laughs> you're right. Did this. You're right. I'm gonna have to check. I'm gonna go check the stuff. I'm gonna go check the fridge when I get done here. Luckily, I have sure 75 okay. more chicken so, and rices in the back. <laughs> I just looked it up. It was it was a jar of jam. Okay, it wasn't it wasn't blueberry custard. It was a jar. What do you mean? Of, what of jam? And Shakira jam. said this. Oh. She said this is why we broke up. Yeah, because I came jam. down and saw a jar of jam. Already half eaten. Just <laughs> yeah. like jam. Her her strawberry jam was eaten in the fridge. That is. Absolutely wild. And he can't and what, have he's strawberry jam. No, yeah, he can't have strawberry He's not, he is not he's a, a dog. job guy. I didn't, I, it's wild to think that someone would Watch this Shakira. show, yeah. No, yeah, yeah. Tom <laughs> asked her about that. Did Tom say, hey, I heard about the jam. Sorry to hear it. Sorry to hear about it. Want me to, you want to rest your head on my shoulder and we can talk about it? I think it? he actually gifted her a jar of strawberry jam. God, whose report was that? Who had the source that was like, it, it was the jam? Fucking it was the Bre- jam. Bree Stimson. Best in the game. Oh, Tony, this is from your website. Which one's that? Fox News. What is <laughs> I cannot believe that. <laughs> Not only Start would someone jam. cheat on Shakira, but then be stupid enough to eat the jam out of the fridge? It's mm-hmm. jam. Jam? Eat the jam out the of the person fridge? Ate the jam, person ate the jam was the person that he was fornicating with, allegedly. Not yes. him, right? That's how she knew. Correct. Correct. Bingo. He couldn't eat the so, jam because he's allergic. He, knew, he, didn't, he didn't say he was probably sleeping after he had a nice session. He was like, hey. Don't touch the jam. Mm. She'll know. Well, yeah. yeah, exactly. And, and, then, he call, and then he calls the alleged uh, mistress or whatever and was like, why would you eat the jam? True. Jam. Why would you eat the jam? Yep. Like, you knew you, know jam. you well, knew that she doesn't do it. Like, why? Mm-hmm. All the children well, she, don't like the jam she either. She ate the entire jar of jam. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, empty I can, jar? I can understand. Empty, no, like, it couldn't, have been, it couldn't have been empty because you'd throw it out. Or at least well, you'd reci- I assume you'd recycle, right? Now, I don't know if it doesn't, Gla- say, separate the doesn't glass. say he's allergic, but it says he doesn't like it. She was probably putting the jam on his hog. Oh, <laughs> she okay. Got this is a real story, though. Yeah, Even the jam part, just the jam. We don't know the jam and the dong. That's alleged. Maybe who knows? But the jam is a real thing. Like the this j- is why they broke up with. Yeah, you. the jam was the reason that she found out. Like, I cannot believe this is real life. Smart gal. She probably put the jam in there as like a control. Like, hey, if this, if anything's eating out of this, I know he's out. You know, messing around on me. God, that is incredible detective. I it's mean, obviously, the you best hate to jam be in ever that. Too. What's that? It's probably the best jam ever. I mean, I probably eat the whole jam. thing. Oh, like, yeah. Obviously, no, a preserve, no, house, preservatives. no preservatives. There's no preservatives in Europe. It's, it's definitely fresh. good jam. She wouldn't have any crap jam in there. No. Great yeah, point. Definitely not. And PK didn't eat the jam because he needs to be properly jocked for a footballer. Can you imagine the people <laughs> who are like, I wonder what's going on at the McAfee show today? And oh, they, they turn turned on. it off a long time yeah, ago. I, yeah, there's probably that. 10 people watching right now. You think? Mm-hmm. 11? Maybe 11. Maybe. I mean, after that jam conversation, <laughs> no. I don't know. 40,000. Jom, this got me interested. I, I, I knew nothing of the jam, so this I, is I, very interesting my, to me. I'm going to go down a rabbit hole as soon as we get done here to be like, who's this guy? Gerard Piquet? Yeah. Yeah, he's a stud he's a- center back for Barcelona. Also, if he plays for country, it's Spain. Mm-hmm. Heard of mm-hmm. them? He's a Spaniard. Thank you. I Thank follow you. Dortmund. That's my only soccer team, and anything else I know. Oh yeah, about. Mm-hmm. Although I know Messi's involved in some sort of yeah there's major a, dispute. Kind of right. messy. Yeah, Messi messy was down in Saudi, and the Messi owners <laughs> don't like that very much. I could see that first but, Mickelson and then Messi. Yeah, exactly. I, some people are saying, "Hey, hold on, Inter Milan might you know or." Inter Miami might give him ownership oh. of the team. Oh my God! There's Who's Gerard. that guy? That's that's, P- that's Gerard Pika. That's when he got Uh-oh. the call about the jam. <laughs> I think, <laughs> what if he all of a sudden liked jam though? And he's, we know he's not allergic. What if he said, "Hey, I just like jam." When they got married in their vows, yeah. PK said to Shakira, I-, "I will never eat your jam." I vowed yeah. to never eat your jam. <laughs> okay, all right, all right. It's settled then. Uh huh. I think we have to come back tomorrow and talk more about sure. this. Just, uh, yeah, yeah you just said a rabbit hole. I got four or five other ones that I can send you to go down, so don't you even worry. Oh, my God. Do they involve soccer cheating scandals? No, no, no. Th- this is the only one uh, in soccer right now as far as rabbit holes go. Okay. Yeah, send them all your websites, con man. Oh, God. God help me. Don't check my search history. Um, 
Big right. I'm not sending porn web. Is that Whoa. what you? No, I don't want to? porn. <laughs> well, okay. Then why did you say don't check your website? I'm just <laughs> saying I don't want any weird. Come back. <laughs> such not all so weird road? stuff. What are you porn? buying? Let's try this again. True. All right. He loaded up his carry-on with magazines. But he doesn't. <laughs> he doesn't need porn. <laughs> That's right. I forgot he That's told good. us that. Yeah. that was uh, <laughs> sir, is this yours? <laughs> I don't know who God helped the TSA agent who goes through and is like, <laughs> yeah. what are magazines? Oh, I remember these. These are Why are all the pages sticky? Well, they, oh, did, well, no, they did. No, no, no. They, pull, on, they pulled your bag to the side because one of the TSA agents. What do you mean, Z? <laughs> Why would they be sticky? Sometimes they get a little sticky. Sometimes there's too wow. much job. Okay? Yep. It, it just like jobbed up. Or job? Human job. <laughs> oh, oh I get it. You guys are semen. Yep. <laughs> That's Great. right. No, I've been on a ship in a long time, to be honest with you. All right, I think we're done. Here. Uh, all right, I think we're we're good. That's exactly what happens at NFL Network, right, Ian? Is yeah, that's exactly what happens. What happens. Yeah. Um, before yeah. I go back to NFL Network, we're gonna do this again tomorrow. Hell yeah! yeah. We're gonna do this again tomorrow. Yeah. yeah. Assuming I didn't get the show canceled. There's a, there's a chance. All right, we'll see. Thank you everyone for joining us. Um, you guys are awesome. Thank you for having me as usual. Thank you for D button Shams and the legend Pat McAfee. Hell yeah. Big guest Kenzie. tomorrow, too. Sam. Huge. Yeah. Big guest tomorrow? It was Huge guest. It was great Huge. to see the baby. All right. Us. Yes. Love seeing baby. Maybe tomorrow, hey, maybe tomorrow we'll get out to the five-hour energy phone line, too, Ian. Oh, yeah, yeah. I got the phone line number. Uh, I'll use it. We'll see if people can bring it and ask questions and maybe not have me get angry at them. Uh, there we well, go. Well, it'd be I mean, nice if you... I, I'd like to see you get angry at someone and yell yeah, at That'd be kind of cool. Be uh, you don't, don't have get angry. to, though. You don't have to. It's oh, I only get angry on the golf course. Oh, at yeah. yourself or other people? Are Myself. Going to catch nine today, or uh, I'm going to try to you make should. some phone calls today. Okay. Ooh, can, you call, to yeah. can you call Bell check for me? You told me there's no news from now what? until the end of the year. So. Uh, it's probably going to be. What, you want? Do you want to do it? Facetime? Yeah, it's just Facetime. Do you think he's a Facetime guy? Bill Belichick? I assume he doesn't even have a cell phone. Oh, actually, never mind. He texted Brian Flores that one thing that one time. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> All right. Goodbye. Thank you, everyone. That's it. We'll see you tomorrow. Go away.